Hello! A very slow fade. Welcome <laughs> to High Rollers Dungeons & Dragons, the D&D 5th edition campaign here Mark. on the Yogscast Twitch channel, as well Mark. as the High Rollers D&D &D <laughs> channel. Mark. I'm your Dungeon Master, Mark Sherlock Mark. Holmes. Hello. You just reminded me of what I... What I... You always remind me of every time because you always announce everything that happens. Yes. Nice fade. Ah, smooth transition. You remind me of that big alien from Mass Effect. <laughs> that has to explain this amazing. Yes, Elcor, yes, yeah. Elcor. Hello, loud hello. Disapproving loud commentary. <laughs> Let's move on, shall we? Hello. <laughs> Joining me this week, Sid's going to be really sick of these transitions in a minute. Mm. Joining me this week, we have. Smooth transition. Rhiannon. <laughs> hey. Chris Trot. Kim. Hi. Good to have Kim again. <laughs> on the other side, we've got Tommy Hazel. Hello. Tommy and H. Katie. Morrison. Hello. Ooh, Welcome, today. everyone. Um, let's cut to a wide, Sid. Let's go wide. <laughs> let's go wide. He's there. Yay! Yay! That's because I've got quite a lot to do announcement-wise, uh, and I didn't want it to just be my face for the whole thing. Well, we've got a lot to do episode-wise. got a lot to do episode-wise. Well, first of all, um, I want to say welcome, because maybe there's a few new people joining us following from TwitchCon. Hello, welcome new viewers. I hope you enjoy watching the episode. Uh, what we normally do is we normally read out our sponsors. We'll do a little couple of announcements, then we'll do a recap and then we'll get started. Mm. So let's get cracking. Sponsors, we'd like to say a big thank you to D&D Beyond, Yay, right. the official digital tool set. D&D uh, Beyond has been an amazing sponsor for us <laughs> since we started this campaign. Do that. <laughs> it's got a great compendium. It's got a great character builder. It's got an encounter builder coming very, very soon. I um, want to say a special thank you to Brian from D&D Beyond. Yeah. Yeah. We, got to hang out, we got to hang out with Brian at TwitchCon Europe. We, we had a great Brian. time. Very Karaoke good. night. Cool. Many of us will never forget. I um, already have forgotten it. <laughs> you forgot it instantly. Fragments of it. Remember it. You, Kim, yeah, you, 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 you missed, yeah. Uh, missed a messy one there. Well, yeah. but thank you, thank you very much, Brian. Um, Sorry. Thank you very much, D&D Beyond, for sponsoring us. Mm. We love it. We love the show. We love the program. Thanks very much. Um, our other sponsor is Displate. Yeah. Never buy a frame again. Displate make amazing metal prints to decorate your home. Uh, this, wh who's, whose one is this one? This is my one. This is one of Thomas's. This is my so one. We have a collection. If you follow the link in chat or somewhere on our Twitter or YouTube or whatever it is, um, you will be able to see a collection of uh, cool prints that we all picked out for each other. Um, not each other, ourselves. Mm -hmm. That's the one I meant. Uh, you can also that for you. You did. Thanks, Tommy. <laughs> uh, thanks, Tommy boy. Uh, you can use the code HIGHROLLERS15 to get 15% off your order. It doesn't matter what you what you pick. It doesn't have to be from a collection. It can be anything. But it um, should be because our picks are cool. They're pretty yeah. cool. They're very cool. Uh, sweet. Very, very awesome. We love this plate. Again, big Before thank you. To, big thank you to Peter uh, from this plate, who we also met at TwitchCon, yeah. um, along with some of the other Displate crew. Uh, we got to drink some moonshine in a motorhome. That was mm -hmm. delicious moonshine. I mean, it I was didn't, strong. I, I did not. <laughs> Delicious. Did you guys actually do anything at TwitchCon no. that wasn't drinking? No. no. What do you do at the <laughs> <laughs> But it was lovely to meet Peter and the crew. Thank you very much. Uh, go check out Display. It's really awesome. Very cool. Uh, I like the fact that they're moving more into home decoration. It used to be lots of like anime and game prints, like kind of things you get on posters. But now as, as nerds grow up, we want nice homes. And so you get super cool artwork prints like this one. Yeah. What's this from? Is this from anything? Top? No, it's no. just it's just, just cool. design. I think a lot of our collections have a lot of home yeah. decor. I've got a lot of illustrations, like yeah. Ones. I've got a lot of um, illustrations. I like They're all of these prints. We ordered yeah. extra ones so that, and Rhiannon's were entirely plants. When they arrived, I opened it up and I was like, this is Rhiannon's for sure. Like, yeah. I didn't even have to check. <laughs> it's green. It's, it's green. Uh, <laughs> to, you, to quick thing as well, a shout out. This is the last day you can unlock oh, Ayla. Tomorrow. So tomorrow, tomorrow is the last day that you can unlock Ayla in Idol Champions, which is awesome. Mm. Um, so yeah, if you play through the game, if you play the green grass event, then you can unlock her and add her to your formation, which is Not sweet. a sponsor, but a super Just, cool thing. And well, she's like very an ongoing, cool. Yeah, it's ongoing. like an ongoing thing, but Ayla's um, now in Idol Champions. Ayla's now in Idol Champions. Um, please go and unlock her and let me know if you do, because I'd like to see. Mm. Um, and cool. I think she's, really she's being added, yeah, she is. She's being added very to um, the store after this, but if you want to unlock her for free, then tomorrow. So. There you go. Boom. Right, I'm going to rattle through these announcements because that's what our sponsor message is, but quick announcements. D&D &D Live is 16th and 19th of May in Los Angeles. It's open to the public. 
They're oh going to be revealing the new module. We're going to be there with yeah. a live-streamed game and some signings. That's most likely to be on the Sunday, I hear. Uh, you didn't hear it okay. from me, but you did. Uh, subject to change. Um, there will also be... We might also be popping up in some other events and shows throughout the weekend. Keep an eye on Wizards of the Coast Twitter as they sometimes announce extra tickets being released. That's yeah. D&D Live, 16th and 19th of May in Los Angeles. Yeah. We're also going to be at YogCon. It's a Yogscast convention. 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 Convention on the 3rd to the 4th of August. The next batch of tickets is coming up very soon in May. There's five more High Rollers VIP tickets in there, which includes a dinner with all of us, a special one shot adventure with yummy, me. Yummy. Uh, there's also, a fa also, this is the other thing I wanted to point out. There is a fan art contest going on at the moment for YogCon. Uh, you can win a general VIP ticket, not a HR one. But it's a general VIP ticket. You get loads of cool stuff. But it's open to everyone, and you can submit old fan art, which is why I wanted yes. to bring it up. Yes. We've got loads of amazing fan artists yes. in the High Rolls community. Yeah. You've all done some beautiful stuff. That You can send that in. You can submit that. Please do. And yeah. also, if, if you can't come to the event, we are still going to be printing a lot of our favorites and displaying them at the event. So please, if even if you can't accept the full prize, we'd still absolutely love for you guys, because you've got so much talent. We want to showcase that and get some High Rollers prints at the event as well. Yeah. So please still submit it, even if you live far away and can't go. We'd yep. still love to represent it for you and put Check. your credit underneath. Check out Yogscast Twitter for more information about Yogcon. Um, thank you, TwitchCon. Thank you, Anna Prosler, for inviting us out there. It was yeah. very much Anna mm -hmm. who got us very all out there slick. and got to do part of it. It was very, awesome. Yeah. Thank you, Elspeth Eastman and Nathan Sharp, who are our amazing guests. Yeah. The one shot is now up on YouTube and podcast as yes, well. Yes, it is. Um, and there we go. Uh, and so, with that, I believe it's time to play the Erois intro video. Let's rock and roll! Let's yeah! Go. Hello. Uh, Welcome back. <laughs> no, hang on. I've got to do it right for Tom. Thank you. For the podcast. No. No. Yes. No. Welcome back to Aroas. <laughs> it has been precisely one month since our group of travelers aboard an airship bound for the sky city of Gusthaven crashed into the bleak Bitterwood on the southern region of Savona. Their airship destroyed and the hostile lowlands around them nipping at their heels. Our heroes rescued a few civilians and made their way north. Along the way, they have made numerous allies, suffered injuries and terrible losses. They have unearthed ancient secrets of their own world and of the powerful forces that lie beyond it. Now they find themselves on a faraway land with one of their companions dead. Sent here by the near immortal and ancient enemy of Erois, Callus Starbane, after he was brought through the protective barrier called the Cradle, only spared because the party had befriended and protected his secret demigod daughter, Valor. Sentry, a guardian of the lost city of Solvin, can be brought back to life. To secure aid in keeping her life force protected until then, the party have offered to assist a dwarven priestess called Skaldi Ravenscar. Skaldi has taken them to an ancient, ruined watchtower to bring peace to unquiet spirits that have grown more and more aggressive. And deep in the ruin, having bypassed deadly traps and magical defenders, the group have entered the final chamber, an old shrine. Mm -hmm. Gonna get some creepy music when Sid can. Oh, good. The Sid, darkness. Don't do it. Don't do it, and then we don't have to do it. Yeah. <laughs> the darkness is all around you. It crawls and stretches like bony fingers crawling along the floor and walls. Only a small section of stone remains untouched, and anything beyond is now just endless night, a void of light and hope. The vague shapes of an altar and columns and a large crystal sphere rise up out of the darkness. The sphere emits a faint blue light and at its center is the shape of a tri-bladed throwing knife. 
but these are all eclipsed by the presence of a figure. A woman in tattered cloth and strange skin-tight armor. Dark hair falls over a beautiful silver mask that covers the upper section of her face, even covering her eyes. A long, wide blade of red energy pulses and hisses in her hands, held as though it weighs nothing. Little candles clinging to life. Have you come to surrender to, surrender to the eternal end? With the last word she spoke as the darkness of the entryway that you had passed through seems to vanish into nothing, leaving you in this room. That is where you are currently. Scaldy Raven Scar, the Dwarven Priestess, is beside you. Uh, she clings to her lantern, the symbol of her faith to Kalara, the goddess of death. Um, and the dim glow just illuminates this remnant of stone space. But you can watch as this darkness is inch by inch kind of crawling along it, spreading along the stones up the walls of the side of the chamber itself. Um, and you see the figure here, Man. at the far end. So is it like we're standing on an island that is just surrounded by... You can see ever so slightly, especially with your high perce uh, perception, Quill, you can see that there is still a room here, but the darkness is so matte and it absorbs all light that as it is obviously curving up the walls and spreading, it creates this illusion that it's just endless void. Um, to the rest of you, you guys don't have the perception enough to, to you it just looks like nothing. It just looks like you're on an island and then there is blackness. Um, but Quill, with such great eyesight, you can see that she's the room is there. Standing in the middle of this. And she's, yeah, she's just stood in the middle of it as if nothing. Um, bare feet, ragged clothes, just kind of trailing, trailing over her legs. Very, this weird skin tight armor over the top half of her body. Um, it doesn't, it looks metallic, but not a metal you know. Um, it's almost got a, a, a hue or a sheen to it. Um, and yeah, just this mask. And she's looking in your direction. Like, even though there's, she, you can't see her eyes, this mask kind of completely covers her top half of her face. She's just looking exactly where everyone's entered. So she was like looking at each individual person. Mm -hmm. Man. Anyone just want to... The door's gone. The door's yeah, gone. Yeah, you, you, Nova, you glance behind you and there is no door. There is just darkness. Um, uh, okay. And there's just these few beats, these heartbeats of moments as she just stares at you. This kind of humming, crackling lightsaber-like blade in her hand just held loosely down towards the ground. I'm guessing she doesn't look like she just wants a chat. She has a giant tell. lightsaber. I mean, it's hard yeah. to tell. You, she's not attacking you yeah. right yeah. away. Uh, Nova, just, yeah. is, this, uh, is this Court of Shadows? That name. Ah, uh, memories. So, yes? I no longer serve Callus. I once did, long ago. Now I've come to realize the truth of the universe. And who do you serve now? Who we all serve, inevitability. And she takes a few steps forward. It's kind of awkward, because if we remember, I was disguised self as Callus. Yeah, which doesn't seem to register to her. That's fine. Are you still Cal Do you still look like Callus? Yeah, to, to you guys she does, yeah. Probably, as she says, like, that thing about Callus Starbane, I would sort of probably just shuffle to the side and awkwardly dispel it. <laughs> so you watch as this form of this very tall, armoured in kind of sci-fi almost armour image just fades away, long dark hair shrinks down into this blue-skinned, nervous-looking... As inoffensively as possible, trying not to draw any attention to myself, just like... It's true. <laughs> <laughs> doesn't like Kelly Starbane. <laughs> Scaldi kind of whispers under her breath to all of you. I just, I don't know what it is, but there's some, the darkness here is not normal. This is beyond just uh, an absence of light. Undeath clings to this place. Do you have anything to help with that? Possibly, I don't know. 
Um, mm. And then the figure takes oh, no. a few more steps towards you. So please, if you've come to surrender yourself, I gladly welcome you. I'll just, I'll just ask her, uh, what is your business in this place? Why are you here? <laughs> and this kind of like creepy half masked woman turns towards Araya as if following the speaking. What am I doing here? I'm preparing. Preparing a temple, ready to accept everything. My head just kind of lists to the side. Everything and nothing? Yes, as with all things. I thought so. Um, can I see the blade behind her at the back? Yeah, yeah, you can see it and you've... There's, you want, it's, it, you can see some sort of metal construct, although the darkness has taken over most of it. And there is just this blue, almost like a coffin shape in its, in, in where its chest would be. And it may, it's, it appears to be like a blue crystal and there's this faint light. And you can see a tri-bladed throwing knife, like, you know, kind of almost like the flux capacitor kind of shape, mm -hmm. but it's a blade. Um, and you can see it's made from the same Materials, it seems to be in the same design as Tiangong, your longsword. Mm -hmm. um. Can I sort of, as subtly as possible, mm. shut my eyes and mm -hmm. try and call to it? Like, just try and, I don't know, like, I guess I would, I would have Tiangong in my hand mm -hmm. and just sort of try and almost use my other hand, like, to just... <sighs> sure. Try and... Roll for me. Oh, God. Ooh. Just straight charisma. So D20 plus your charisma modifier. And what, and, and in your head, what are you, are you saying anything? Are you, what, do you have anything in mind? Like, tell me, what are you, you going to use? I would probably, uh, something, maybe something like come back, reform. Mm -hmm. I have, I have, the, I have more of you here. Mm -hmm. Sure, roll four. See what you get. Uh, 16. 16 with the, with with the, the charisma? modifier. So you, you kind of reach out. Most of oh, you. Oh, wait, do... sorry. Plus charisma. Sorry, I did a charisma saving throw. Yeah, four. Um, so it's plus four, so That'd it's 13. No, 14. Nine plus. Oh, yes. 13. Four, 13. Yeah, 13. Okay. So you close your eyes. And most of you, I think, know Nova, like you see Nova's form disappear. The illusion of Calistarbane fades. She reaches back, clutches the knife, kind of poking out of her belt. And then you watch as this other hand softly begins to rise as she closes her hands. The woman doesn't seem to notice or care. Um, is still looking at Araya. And you hear in your head, Nova, you just, you kind of get this sense. It's not a word, but you get a sense of um, trust. You get this kind of like, like a connection, distant as it is, at the far end of the room. And without thinking, your other hand comes up, holding the knife. You hold it up in the air, and the rest of you see this bright flash from behind the coffin as the star phases through, spins through the air, slams into the dagger, Whoa. And then vanishes, and the blade turns, and it becomes this tri-bladed knife in your hand. What? Like, now holding it, um, <laughs> you can go into if you go into D and D Beyond. There is Tiangong Two. Whoa! <laughs> you this want is a great start. The woman actually kind of like <laughs> throws her head to the side as this <laughs> spins past her. She looks up. How curious! I've been studying that for so long. It was always such a mystery. But it appears that if you are calling to it, you are not here to surrender to the end. And she brings the blade up, and that's when we're going to roll this. Oh, 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 that's my bad, fun. guys. That's my bad. It yeah, really but... isn't. <laughs> <laughs> this was going to happen. Ain't gone too though. I mean, unless you guys oh did something God, like that. I just rolled a fucking expect. one. Uh, you guys could have done Woo! something. Like that. Right, Ayla, initiative. Five. Quill. Uh, 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 seventeen. 17. Nova. 9. Lucius. 15. Oriah. 6. And Scaldi is going to go at 10. So. Okay. Hmm. Tiangong 2! 
Well, Sorry. there's so much bam, 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 bam. At Elliot. the top of the round, okay. and initiative count 20. You watch as she Ooh. raises the sword up high. Right. The darkness of the room seems to spring up into these panels. Oh. Uh, oh, so like walls of darkness. That connect and oh, seem to join up. Cool. And as they cut through, you have to throw yourselves forward to avoid being um, things. I have just, however, blocked the entire camera from seeing your positions, but that will just <laughs> yeah, do. It's a mystery tool. But it kind of like springs up and shoves you forward uh, about five feet. You know, fearing that you're going to be cut in half by these invisible barriers. And that just happens at the top of the round. That's the lair action. Um, right. They <laughs> throw you forward. So blocking um, the door that wasn't there. The door's yes. there anyway. Quill. <laughs> uh, you respond to this and you can see she's readying herself to attack. Is, uh, is she looking at anyone in particular? Did no, she... at this point, no. Should we just fold them down so they're at least... Uh, sure. Uh, well, well, we can move them. They're just... Do this it. was the best place. Is that right that it's that. gone from plus eight to hit to plus one to hit? Uh, we'll fix that. Don't Just don't equip it. Use old Tiangong for now. Okay. Uh, it, there's no actual bonuses to hit. It just gives you an alternative form that it can transform into now. Well, it says I got one D8 mm -hmm. to roll rather than one D4. Yeah, because it'll be a long sword. But for now, let's just use, use the old, yeah. use the old one. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm gonna do because I think we need to set it as your packed weapon and do a bunch of other stuff with it. Cool. I'm gonna touch Ayla, and as a cantrip, I'll do guidance, okay. which gives her a D4 to an ability check. Yeah. Oh, is it saving attack. throw? Uh, that'll be resistance. Is the saving throw? If you want. Oh, to give some... I'll do resistance instead. Okay. Um, okay. So save against the saving throw, and a. Bonus action, I will hide. So you fall to the next saving throw in the next minute. Uh, I'll, I'll just I'll run for my goddamn life. Okay. Um, I don't know, I think I might just do... <clears throat> uh, nothing. <laughs> I'm not, I'm just gonna leave it at that, I guess. Oh, barrier ring. Shwing. Okay, so you get plus two. Uh, now, plus actually, two. I think you've used all your uses, because I remember we had this conversation because you hadn't been tracking them. And you said we had one, you had one left. Dang! Darn! I mean, unless you remember otherwise, but that's how I remember. So. I swing it and nothing happens then. Yeah, I don't think you have any uses left on it. That's my bonus action. So you go to activate the magical ring and you just realize that it needs to recharge its power. Yeah. That you, haven't, you haven't rested. Damn it. Um, okay, uh, Lucius, what is your dexterity modifier? It's like 20, I think. 20? Yeah? Do you think? I don't think it is. Are you lying to me, Chris Troll? What is it? Huh. Plus two. Yeah. So, uh, she will. Mm. <laughs> What's your dexterity? Oh wait, was it choosing who goes first? Yeah. She can go first, yeah. No, oh, she's coming towards us. So, Araya being the last person that she was really speaking to. Um, in fact, actually, Nova was the one that's just caught this thing, so we'll target Nova. No. Um, you watch as she brings up her free hand, she's kind of holding this great sword. It's this huge, long blade, um, and she's wielding it in one hand. She brings up her other one, and a ray of dark purple light <laughs> flies out. Um, I'd like to cast Counter Spell. This is not a spell. No, me. I'll give you that That's one right. for free, because okay. normally you say, I'm casting Counter Spell, I'll be like, okay, you've used it, but I'll give you that one for free. Thanks. Uh, because, that. only because I did just roll a natural 20. Okay. <laughs> Thanks. So. It's an Easter miracle. You're dead. Uh, so it. Wait, is that a crit then? Huh? Is that a crit? Yeah, this is a crit, yeah. Oh, God damn. Yuck. So you're going to take 16 points of necrotic damage. Oh, cool. As you're slammed in the chest um, by this ray. Uh, cool, don't forget you're currently resistant to necrotic and psychic damage, because you have Eloquist, the Watch Commander. Ah. You had the aid from, oh, yeah. from them. Um, so you watch as this purple ray kind of strikes out and you feel it slam into your chest. Come, my dear. Embrace the end. Uh, after her go, Lucius. Yeah. I panic to just create a huge ball of light. Lucius, this luscious light right on her. Okay. Are you going to put her as the target in the middle? She is the target. And then it's a really nicely uh, displayed... 20-foot radius sphere of mm -hmm. beautiful light. Okay. 
Yeah. Wow. Uh, so you conjure this kind of thing. The darkness around does seem to kind of distort the light a little bit, but the effect still takes place. Does it affect um, any of the darkness around it in terms of? Because it doesn't actually create light. It's blinding, like whoever's in it, is, it gets flashes of color, but it's not dispelling the darkness. Okay. Uh, so and do I need to do anything? Uh, Tell me how your spell works. Any starts their turn takes two to six cold damage. Okay. Any creature that ends its turn succeeds on a dexterity saving throw or takes two to six acid damage. Okay. All right. So you conjure this sphere of these blade, oh. you know, bright blue and orange lights kind of swirling all around. And you can see she kind of looks around for a moment, almost distracted. At the end of your turn, she's going to... Uh, yeah, sure. Five, ten. I'm just going to go... Can I go here? You can. Um, as you started stepping through the, the darkness, you did kind of feel this horrid cold sensation kind of pulling all over you. Um, at the end of your turn, she is going to... Go again? Uh, she's going to take a legendary action. Oh. 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. So she will start a turn there. She didn't right? start it. This is at the end of your turn. She performs a legendary action. That's a piece of shit, isn't it? It's <laughs> pretty, pretty piece of shit. Might um, but she kind of senses this... Level spot, right? She seems to sense this like magical, powerful, magical energy around her and just... She actually kind of folds into the darkness in the floor and then she <laughs> appears uh, about 30 feet away. Why would she do um, that? Well. So at the end of Lucius's, so that was at the end of Lucius's turn. So no, nope, Scaldi's gonna go. What was my other resistance? Sorry, necrotic and, and psychic. You only have it temporary, so just maybe remember it. All right, right I'll put it on there. Twenty-five. She's just gonna move slightly over, um, and then Scaldi will. She's gonna try and make a religion check. Okay, uh, Scaldi's just like. There's something about her magic. I, I think I can keep it uh, at bay, but it would more be like a cleansing of uh, something, some sort of power that she has. I'll try and keep you as safe as I can, but you may need to protect me. Um, and then she's going to cast Sanctuary on herself. Oh, mm. awesome. Cool. Um, after hers, it goes to Nova. So is Scaldi like just stood there chanting and... Mm -hmm. um, yeah. Uh... Where's Scaldi? Is Scaldi here? Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Doesn't that take like a long time to do Sanctuary? No, it's an action. Huh. Oh, I don't have it. Um, Damn. What'd you like to do, Nova? Bonus action, Hexblade Curse. Okay. On, on sure. mysterious, yeah. sexy masked lady. Mm -hmm. um, oh. <laughs> sexy, <laughs> mysterious masked lady. <laughs> 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 Wow. No. <laughs> Peter Andre rolling in grave. He's not He's dead. He's not dead. <laughs> he should be. He will be now. Whoa. 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 Uh, yeah. If he dies this week, Mark. That song was That's pretty bad, you. though. Right, yeah. anyway. Okay, can I move myself in front of Skull? <laughs> sure. Maybe. Yeah, move yourself where you need to. So that's there. 5, 10, 15, 20? Yeah, just Kay. so I can kind of block. Yeah, sure. Like. Yeah. Yep, uh, absolutely. So Hexblade Curse. And I guess I will... I'm gonna firebolt her. Sure. Yeah, yeah give me the attack roll. Mm -hmm. That creates light. Right? Yeah. The, there is light in the room. This darkness is almost like a, like a virus or something. It's almost like a substance, like ink, mm. that's kind of crawling over the place. It was an 18 and then it rolled over to a 2, so that's a 9. 9, not enough. She just <laughs> throws herself to the side, dodges underneath it. At the end of your turn, Nova, she raises up, like the hand that blasted, she kind of curls it into a fist. Come, be drawn closer to the end. And you watch as a 10, 15, 20, 20, yeah. So she creates a point of, almost like a tiny pinprick of blackness that just appears in the middle of the air and it begins pulling with incredible force, Ooh. all those within a certain radius. Cool. I need Lucius, Nova, like a tiny black hole. Lucius, Nova, and Scaldi, I believe. 20, yeah. Uh, yeah. Lucius, Nova, and Scaldi all need to make strength saving throws. Strength? Yep. Sure. 13. Six. 13? Six. Six. So Lucius, you managed to like kind of dig your heels in. You're kind of holding up a hand as you're feeling this thing pulling you, and you managed to th kind of hold yourself back. However, Scaldi and Nova. So I did it from here, didn't I? Yeah. Nova's pulled in. Scaldi's pulled in. 
Uh, Ooh. She would be pulled there, I think. Um, as you you start being pulled in, Nova, and as you do, you feel this kind of cold necrosis take over your body. You gain something called a void moat. Uh, whilst this is in effect, you have minus one to your AC and your saving throws, Whoa. and also your, oh no, no. Yeah, is that with speed? Yes, and your speed is decreased by five feet. Crikey. A void moat. Mm -hmm. And you feel this like, and you, and you kind of watch as she ends her concentration and this kind of, this tiny black hole just vanishes as you're pulled in. That's awesome. Oh, god damn. Uh, Araya. Um, okay, so I'm going to cast Primeval, no, Hunt of Sense on her. Try and figure out if she's got any resistances, vulnerabilities, damage immunities, and whatnot. Okay, so I can tell you that she is immune to necrotic and cold. Uh huh. She's resistant to psychic damage. <laughs> oh my god, immune to cold. <laughs> it's almost like it's almost like something about space is going on. Yeah. Uh, so immune to necrotic, immune to cold, resistant to psychic. Uh huh. Um, and I will tell you that she has one legendary resistance. Okay. Which normally it's not technically part of her resistances, but it makes sense that I tell you that. Yeah. Cool. Nice. And then I'm also, as a bonus action, going to make her my Slayer's Prey. Slayer's Prey? Yeah. Okay. So you've still got move action. Would you like to move anyway? I would like to move closer to. How many have I got? I'm going to move uh, 15, 20, up to like this bit here. Try the opposite some, way. Okay. This get some, spread out. Spread out. Nice. I like it. Uh, and Ayla, last in the initiative. Most Nobody else is doing it. So oh, here we go. Do it. Yeah, by all means, let's go. <clears throat> I'd like to rage. So you watch as lightning begins crackling down Ayla's body, um, swirling around the Howling Gale Hammer. Yeah. Mm, can I see if I can get? Can I hit her from there? Nope. nope. You have to be within five feet of her. Yep. As you step onto the darkness, yep. you feel this. Deep, cold necrosis take over. Uh, da, 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 da. When you start your turn there, so you're okay for now. Okay. I'm she gonna back away anyway. She'll get a attack of opportunity. Yeah. That's bad. Don't want to get hit by a big broadsword lightsaber. Oh, that won't hit. Um, twelve. Add it up. Um, you never know. It was a two. So. Two. Yeah, that's probably not gonna hit. Um. <laughs> Uh, so you're coming in like 19. an overhead swing? 19, yeah. 19 does hit. So the first, you come down in this big overhead swing, which she kind of blocks with this kind of bladed light. Yeah. Um, and she kind of throws you back with a parry. You kind of swing the hammer around and come in from a side blow. She was expecting it to be quite slow, because it's such a big, heavy weapon. But you speed it through, and she just doesn't manage to get the blade down to the side. Um, 11 with the hammer. 11 and points of damage. Can you make Dex a save and throw. throw? That is a 21. Oof. So half of four, which is two, two. lightning damage. So the hammer does connect, and the, the <laughs> skin tight armor she seems to be wearing just like hits. There's this resounding, not quite a metal clang, but like a thud of like hitting some sort of thick leather. Um, and you just, poof, and then she kind of just turns this faceless eyes, like, ah, finally, a challenger. Perhaps you can grant me my end. She's looking for it. Sure, happy to. <laughs> At the top of the round, the darkness that was forming the walls remerges. I, I just realised you've got like five of these tiles. Like just basically rebuilding the arena every time. Oh, shit. oh wow, that's bad. Oh, so wow. that's separated me and Orion from split. everybody else. She watches, she raises one hand and it just reforges into a curve, blocking off Quill and Araya from the rest of the party. So dynamic. <laughs> uh, and I guess we can't see through it like Quill. at all, it's just darkness. It's, it's, it's ever so slightly opaque that you can see shapes and vaguely what's happening, but you, as far as you know, it's just a wall. I mean, you, you could walk through it, you don't know. <laughs> right, well, we've got some time, Eloquist. Have you got an idea? Uh, so you, you speak to this kind of spirit that was yeah. possessed you. You hear this kind of faint voice like, I, the fight, I did not fight against her. She caught me by surprise. She conjured some sort of spell to incapacitate me. I'm afraid that all I can tell is that this darkness is a, a lingering presence. The longer that you remain in it, the weaker you will become. Uh, 
Cool. Uh, I guess I can't talk to him anymore. That's like sure, yeah. My entire time. It's also in your head, so he's also like he's he's seeing through your eyes. They are seeing through your eyes, so they are also aware of what's going on. So he's he's adding that commentary of his own of their, their own free will as well. Oh, so when you say they're talking in my head, is it like a thought as quick yes. as yeah, yeah, yeah. I can so, think yeah. it is? Absolutely. Um, in that case, could I ask him if he could if he wanted to? Could he do damage to me while he's possessing me? Uh, eloquent, yeah, they say, yeah, they, they say, like, I, I could cause you harm, yes, though I would not wish to. Could you possess them? You just get this, like, I, I fear that doing so would destroy me entirely. I see. That's, we're not doing that. Um, I, can prof I can protect you whilst I am possessing your body. I can fend off some of her necro no, undeath, ma her undead magic. We'll go with that, then. That sounds way Yeah, he's, he's giving you resistance while you're possessed by them. So yeah, I just... They are. But, if yeah. I could transfer it and shut it down from the inside, that would have been aces. But it's like Ant-Man and Thanos' ass. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the Thanos theory. It's gonna happen. It's gonna happen. Thanos. So you can see this kind of incredible aura of Lucius's light. Uh, I'm just gonna go... Yeah, I'm just gonna go as far along the wall as I can, just mm -hmm. to continue spreading out, but there's nothing I can do without going into the void or Lucius's luscious lights. Yeah, you can uh, make a dash. Yeah, keep moving. Yeah, you get yeah keep moving. but then I wouldn't. There's like nothing I can do even after I do that. Oh, actually, it's an action to dash, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Oh, and we're out of the lights there, and out of the, yes. the other side of the wall. <laughs> yep. Awesome. <laughs> oh my god, I made it. Uh, and then I'll, so I've gotten around the wall and through the lights. Mm -hmm. I'm not taking damage. And I'll cast Shield of Faith on Ayla. Okay. Oh, I did oh. a thing. <laughs> yep. What's that? Plus two. Plus two AC. Plus two to your AC. Your resistance goes though, because you don't get the resistance spell <clears throat> anymore. It's concentration. Yeah, okay. whatever. But you get plus two AC, anyway. which is handy because at the end of Quill's turn, she's going to make an attack against Ayla. Woo! So the great uh, 19 plus 9, 28. That might hit. Uh, so this glowing oh, no. red blade <laughs> just cuts through. Oh, God. Uh, that's going to be, you know, you are raging, so you're going to take half of this damage, which is. Do, 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 do. That'd be 14, half to 7. But the necrotic damage which follows, which is five, you do not half. Okay. Um, I also have some bad news. Mm. Until the end of her next turn, you cannot regain hit points. As you feel this black energy wash over you. It's kind of like chill touch, yeah. It's Bitch! Cool. Um, yeah. That's at, at the end of Quill's turn. I wasn't going to heal her anyway. Um, on her turn... Oh, God. Me? Yeah. Hey. <laughs> Oh, she's cycling back and forth. You can make an attack opportunity, Ayla. Yeah, oh, she's coming towards me. No. Uh, that'll be a 19 to hit. Hits. You get the first solid hit on her. As the hammer comes to a second solid hit, I should say. 12 damage. 12 points of damage. You kind of catch a, a, a blow as she runs past. She kind of sprints to the side. You just clip her on the edge of her arm. Um, but she still manages to get just in front of Quill, Scaldi, and uh, Nova. Um, oh no, she's oh no we're in a line. Up. As you get, oh, <laughs> she God. lines all of you up. Oh. You watch as, for a second, the, go on. Counter spell. Do you want to cast counter spell? You're about to blast all of us in a line. So you're casting counter spell? Yes. Okay, it's not a spell. You just, the spell slot goes. Um, Can counter spell be used like it as a reaction? It's a reaction. Oh, okay. It's a reaction. Um, she, as she reaches you, she reaches up and takes off the silver oh, mask. Uh oh. Dude. And you see mask. that where her eyes and her forehead should be, there is just a gaping hole oh. of nothing. Oh. oh like like oh. the void. She's like like the void around face. you, but like a black hole in the top half of her head. Oh. And as, as it opens, you see this dark red light in the middle of it glow and a voice seems to whisper out no i hunger oh. and a line of energy 
crackles along out, blasting out like Cyclops. I need you all to make dexterity saving throws, please. Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna. This is too cool. Oh god, that's not great. That's a yikes from 13. me. 13. 12. All of you can take full damage. Ah! I don't suppose this is necrotic or psychic. It is necrotic. Okay. 16, so halved quill, so okay. 8. Um, you all gain another void moat. Right, void moat. Let me just keep a tally of. I'm keeping these a tally, don't worry. Bad, bad. I'm things. keeping a tally, okay. don't worry. Um, you watch as this this blast oh. just echoes out from her face. She quickly puts the mask back on, and then with a snap of her hand, the blade reemerges, and she kind of just looks as you're just feeling this dark, crackling energy, almost like siphoning away your life um, as it crackles all over you. Scaldi is managing to like just kind of like keep herself, and you can see her about to raise the lantern. Um, Lucius, you'll go. You've just seen this happen. Oh, um, <laughs> what do I do? Uh, I'm going to stand there, not in a line. <laughs> Make it obvious. Okay. There's no line there. Uh, yeah. I'm gonna there is a line. There is. A... I'm going to look off into the distance at where the altar is. Yeah. And I'm going to shoot at that. Interesting. Yeah. What with? Chromatic orb. Okay. Uh, I'm going to use. Lightning damage. Okay. Okay. And sure. I, that's going to win the fight. 19 plus 5. 20. I'd say that hits a stone altar, yeah. Thank you. Uh, 48. <laughs> sure. Roll the damage for me. Yeah. I'm interested. This can go. I, the He's tone of his voice, I can't tell. Nothing. This means nothing. It's either oh, you're headed and it zaps a little, or she's dead. I can't quite tell. I can't, all, I can't it, read no. him. She's not. No, she can. I'm not going to say nothing. <laughs> One, seven, two, four. holding back four. his laughter to then tell us it does nothing. 22 lightning. 22. 22 lightning damage. That's fucking... You summon this crackling orb of lightning, an element you're not always very familiar with, but one that you still understand. The arcane power kind of coursing through your blood and your veins. You spin and throw the orb. It smashes against the stone altar, and you watch as... There is a moment where the darkness around it seems to splinter and crack, and you see her just like, no, get Whoa. away from there. Good call! Oh, I'll take, altar. I'll take some it. damage, some damage. Maybe not as effective as attacking her directly, but definitely there seems to be some sort of connection between her and this darkness that's around. Um, at the end of your turn, go on, do you have more? Yes, as a bonus action, I'm going to do some transference of sorcery points. Oh, fantastic. Ooh. Give yourself some sorcery points. He's doing things. I know. That's the last thing though, yeah? Yeah. At the end of your turn, she is going to create another one of these spheres of darkness. Oh. Um, we like to all here. 10, 15, 20. I want to get Lucius and Quill. We are so bunched up now. Mm. I just had to get around that wall. Mm. Mm, it's difficult. There's not much space that doesn't have shit tendons. Yeah. Oh, the other one is I just pull these two in somewhere further. Is that first? Yeah. Like, black so you watch as another uh, black hole. No, it vanishes. She okay. creates another pinprick. I need Ayla, Nova, and Scaldi to all make strength saving throws. What? Ayla, you're what? probably going to be fine. Scaldi's also got fine. advantage. Natural 20! Woo! <laughs> Dear Gee. God! <laughs> Um, oh, that was the same roll twice. Um, 18. 18, yeah, you're all fine. So you'll dig your heels in as you feel this, this force trying to suck you in closer, um, but you manage to resist for the time being. Yeah, I'd like to like think I use Tiangong, like strike yeah. Tiangong into the ground. Okay. To, like, so Scaldi, on her turn, this is gone now. Um, she oh. channels the power into her lantern, and you watch as a kind of dim sphere of daylight erupts under Scaldi's feet. Oh. Wow. wow. Eh. Oh. Is that the um, eh. sanctuary? No. This is the power of her lantern and Kalara's oh, blessing. Oh, bringing back the light. Oh. So you watch as this kind of That's pool of light, of sunlight, erupts under Scaldi's feet. Uh, Nova, you and Scaldi, you cleanse your void moats. <gasps> Oh. oh, amazing. Did you take into account, by the way, you had a minus, you got a natural 20. Oh, so, natural 20. so the minus two to saving throws wouldn't have affected it. Never mind. Otherwise it would have been minus four. Yeah. <laughs> like. uh, okay, 
Uh, so that is Scaldi's turn. So she and she, you can see that all she can do is channel on this light. Um, if I, I think I can keep this darkness away, but it's the only thing I can focus on. If you need, uh, if you need me to cleanse away her energy, just come towards me. And you can see she's kind of shying away from the light, like ah, kind of hissing. Um, and all of to... the darkness on the floor is just yeah, just seeping away. Yeah, it just it erupts away. In the light of the gods. Uh, then we go to Nova. Mm. Oh, lordy lord, I don't know what to do. It's changing so much. I'm like, I think I have an idea, and then it's like, <laughs> oh, I don't know what to do. I'm just gonna keep um, flailing a hammer around yeah. wildly. Well, that's, you, you, so far, you, you've done the most damage. <laughs> um, I would like. Poor Orion has to... been stuck behind a wall. I know. So. It's my wall. <laughs> Queen of the Wall. What are you doing there, Queen of the Wall? <laughs> oh, cool. it's my, um, it's, my it's a bonus action for a potion, right? For drinking your own potion, I'm yes. I'm bonus glug my own potion. It's oh, just a regular... Regular healing potion? Yeah. Have you got D4s there? Yeah. Just roll 2D4, add 2. I didn't get my dice out to roll them. Let's roll again. 5, 6, 7. 7. You drink a potion? Potion. Um, Bonus action, done. Uh, so I want to hit her with Tiangong, but I'm not sure what's... Use the Gadwin's hammer. Gadwin's hammer, mm -hmm. okay. Use the same stats. Um, okay. So I want to... Let's say, for the purposes of like the, the mechanics, Tiangong changes back into its dagger form, but you've seen it's now got the other If I want to throw it, though, like... I mean, you could throw it, but she's right next to yeah, you. Yeah, but... I'm You'd be better off. For future. Yeah, for future, it will use different stats. Okay, but... um, so I would... I'm going to... Uh, Stab her with a dagger, but uh -huh. also cast Green Flame okay. Blade. Yeah, so you're casting Green Flame Blade. Uh, okay. 13, 14, oh, 13 plus 8 is... 21. 21, hits. Nice boy. Yep. Um, nice boy. <laughs> uh, six points of regular damage. Mm -hmm. And then... Um, green Flame Blade. Ugh! It's just a one. Yeah, a fire damage, yeah. Yeah. So you watch as this green flame launches out of the dagger form of Tiangong. She kind of raises the blade, kind of deflects some of it away, but some of it does burn away at the rags of her cloak and clothing um, as it burns away. After Nova, it is Oriya. Nice. Um, nice. I'm she gonna... did not have a turn last turn. Huh? She was stuck, you were stuck behind Yeah, me. she moved up uh. and then did all of her hunter slay and um, all that stuff. Cool. Um, I'm gonna try and move a little bit past the wall. So let's just not touching, not quite touching the black stuff. So you, you have can, to. So you've got bonus action dash, haven't you? I've got bonus action dash. So mm. how much movement was that? Twenty. Four. That's twenty. Yep. Twenty. So you can go two more. And you can dash. I can't. I can't bonus action dash. I want to get to the old one. Okay. Could I'll... you? You could bonus action dash. You could bonus action dash and then action dash. Because you've still got that's one and yeah. then. Are you trying to get to the old. I get to the old one. Oh boy. Is uh, that, you get here. Is the floor below the altar? Wait. It is still there. darkness. That's still it's just darkness, raised because yeah. I didn't. I didn't have enough so cards. 20. If it's not enough, then I'll stay there. Well, it's also not sanctuary. From the darkness. Yeah, from it's the not void. quite. Oh, it's it's like there. one shot. Okay, cool. No problem. That's nice. I'm just gonna. I'm gonna fire my bow at the altar. At oh, the altar, yeah. Yar. Okay. So as an FYI, if you're here. Uh, then you are just We're about just safe. Touching. No, you're just safe. You're, okay, cool. I'd say there's not enough on the square yep. to justify you All taking right. the effect. Cool beans. I'm gonna, okay, so you're gonna go at it. You take out your longbow out. Yeah, okay. you are. Attack roll. 23. Okay, as you are attacking this with a mundane weapon, it's unlike the spell, the arrow does hit, but it, it doesn't seem to have any effect. Uh, um, it's only because it was pure lightning yeah. damage that it kind of cracked the altar okay. and the stone, but the arrow itself just. Ping, nice. Now fortunately. I know. No worries. Cool. Um, Ayla, at the start of your turn, you gain a void moat. Okay, I'm going to charge at her. Can you put me beside her on that side? So you want to go... Go into the light. Into the light, beside yeah. that one, yeah. Okay. Um, smack, smack. You have to start your turn in the light to cleanse your moats. Okay. That um, makes right. sense. Um, so that's... 17 to hit with one. 17 just hits. And the other one is more Double than that. Well. Okay, yeah, hits. Um, Double hit. Double whack. Uh, seven, nine was the first one. And... Uh, oh. Mm -hmm. 
No eight, damage. Eight with the second one and dexterity saving throw. That is going to be a 11. Fails of four lightning damage. Okay, you watch as the lightning blasts her and the two consecutive hammer blows kind of stagger her back as her kind of bare feet scrape against the darkness underneath it, barely being able to deflect away Ayla's blows. You just hear this, yes, yes, good. Bring about the end. Soon all will be nothing. Uh, Looks like she kind of wants to die. At the top of the round. Uh, guys, should I stop hitting things? No. Um, I forgot to add plus three damage through Hexblade Curse. Wait. Well, gonna... you'll remember that next time, won't you? <laughs> just thought I'd ask just in case you were feeling benevolent. See what she's um, done here. At the top of the round, the wall <laughs> reforms, kind of almost creating a barrier between uh, the rest of you. And separating her into the... And separating her away from it, yes. From awesome. Ayla, who cool. seems to be hurting her. I'm fine with that. I mean, yeah, we might just have to leave them up. <laughs> people can know, people vaguely know. I can know see from that. Yeah, yeah, they can see yeah. from there. Do we have an overhead? Uh, the Quill, we don't, because we had to, I had to use the camera <coughs> for the overhead for the side camera view. But it's a nice of you. Um, Quill. Was Ayla's hammer magical? I can't remember. It is not. But it's so got it doesn't do magical but... damage, like if it hit... From what I know of the, old, of the hammer, it's not, it is not a magic weapon. It does not have a plus one to hit and damage But it, I can do lightning damage with my set. Yeah. True. Um, oh, man. I mean, she wants to die. That can't be a good sign. Do I want to heal her? <laughs> like, no. That's Dear God. But but like, like, don't waste it on her. Like, waste it on Can we me. not meta game strategy, please? I'm it just is thinking, Thomas's like, turn. You're thinking Final Fantasy. I'm thinking when you heal the undead, not the undead, but like, you know. Tom, what would you like to do? Not that. Or do I? It's your turn. No, I don't, I, don't, I don't have the spell slots to heal her and also all of this other junk that I need to do, like heal everyone else. <laughs> uh, <laughs> it'd be nice if you did that sometimes. <laughs> okay, I'm going to back up. So I've got an eye on her and I'm going to do a Sacred Flame. Sacred Flame. So dexterity save, which is she's probably going to nail. Uh, that is a only a 13. Ha! I rolled pretty low. <laughs> 2d8. Nine damage. Nine points. That's cantrip damage. Um, yeah, and you it's watch, okay. and it's radiant, right? Uh, yes. Yeah, so you watch as she kind of like, she holds her arm up, and you watch as the, the white flame that you conjure burns away some of the darkness kind of spreading around her, almost like a cloak or a shawl. I mean, it burns away, and she kind of looks over towards your direction. At the end of your turn, she is going to appear here. Um, and then it's her turn. Oh, it's her. Yeah, she's right after me. Oh, oh. no, she's right behind me. Oh, that's the line. She brings the... Oh, she's hitting me with the saber. Saber, yeah. saber man. That is going to be a 18. Uh, yes. What kind of damage is that? Just uh, slashing. So this, what Quill is about to take is slashing. You take... 10, yeah. and then you take another 5 necrotic. You cannot regain hit points until the end of her next Halved turn. necrotic. The necrotic is halved, so you take 2. And I can't heal. Until the end of her next turn. Okay. Did you put a mask back on? Yes. Yeah. Good. Just do it for Didn't the it's when she takes it off, that's, she does this eye beam. Oh, I need to check if that recharged. It didn't. Oh, yeah. good. Yeah, or did it? I don't, don't want to see that ever again. <laughs> Lucius. Put that away. Uh, just, I'm going to move. Do that. Um, <laughs> oh. Can you put my wall back, please? <laughs> and then I'm going to level three chromatic orb lightning the altar. Oh, you're going to go for another one at the altar? Yeah. Go for it. Natural one. <laughs> this time you conjure it, but you whoa, at the last second just this That's slip level, level three, and the uh, the lightning orb into the ceiling. <laughs> the lightning crackles overhead, um, sending blue lines of power striking down into the the ink into darkness. Ayla. So cool. If only. you're now supercharged. No, uh oh, that's not what happens. Anything else, Lucius? Uh, yeah, bonus action, doing some more spell slaughtery. Cool. At the end of your turn, she makes another melee attack against Quill. Whoa, what? That is a 25 to hit. That'll hit. Yes. Nine slashing. Um, One necrotic, so okay. So you're out. What? Oh, oh man, I'm unconscious. Yeah, I'm unconscious. You still can't regain hit points until the end of her next turn. Oh, 
Oh, oh yeah. Oh, boy. <laughs> fun. I like that mechanic. One. <laughs> she looks up. One. How many more will surrender to the inevitable? Oh, no. <sighs> oh, hang on. Sorry. Injury check. Mm. Yeah. Constitution um, saving throw for me, please. I have interest. DC is 10. It, is it a harder DC for me because I'm already injured? What? I think it says at the top. You've not taken an injury this since a short rest, though. You haven't had another injury this done. Three, three. Oh, your shot, oh, no. your shot I, risk, I, rest. Yeah, yeah you, got, you took a short rest. Uh, natural 20. Ooh, natural 20. Does that mean I heal? My wing nope. comes back? Nope. Your eye comes back. You're all fine, though. <laughs> uh, so... We grew an eye. Wish I had that for the saving throw. So after Lucius, all Scaldi can do is concentrate on her her light, basically. So that's what she's going to do. So you can cleanse your moats by going to her, her ring. Um, Nova. So can we see through, do, can we see through this wall? You see the, the you can see Quill vague has... shapes and yeah, you saw this woman go up to Quill and just like, Kylo ran him through the chest with the lightsaber sort and then Quill body just, <laughs> <laughs> That's how you get me. Yeah. That's my one weakness, actually. Sword through the chest. We can't, we can't go through the. This. You don't know. Okay. Nobody's tried. Yeah. I'm gonna move. Wait. Try and not be in a line. Okay. And I'm gonna Eldritch blast the altar. Okay. Go for it. Um, one is a 19 and one is a nine. Nine miss, 19 hits. The, the, the nine, just the, your aim's a bit too wide. One. One. Just a faint, tiny little chip. <laughs> chip of stone comes flying off as the beam sails through the air. At the end of your turn, Nova, yeah, she's gonna... Oh no, she's not in any darkness. She can't. Good! Oh, well, she's gonna sink into the darkness and leave. Mm. Can't she... do that if there's no what? darkness. Well, she, she can't do that if there's no darkness. Oh. The only other thing she can do with her legendary action is make a melee attack. Yeah, she could. <laughs> I mean, there's but, like, what if she. Mark, how about. What if I give you 20 pounds now? <laughs> <laughs> All right, hang on, I need to think. Have to do uh, her motivation is literally death. She wants to things. kill me, Mark, like. <laughs> oh, no. Two death saving throws. So when you are hit by a melee attack um, and you're unconscious, it's an automatic two death saving throws. Yep, so if I fail once more, I am dead. It's you go before mine, right? I can't be healed until the end of her turn. It's a Ryze go, I believe. When's her turn? Though. Can you, yeah, can they stabilize me? Mm. That was Nova's go, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. Stabilizing isn't regaining hit points. Yeah, it's a Raya's go. So could they stabilize? Yes, I, stabilizing is not regaining hit points. But you would just be at zero. You'd be unconscious. You wouldn't okay. be making death saving throws. Fine. Araya. All right, I'm gonna... You, you see this, this woman yeah. just... Yeah, I'm gonna... Come, my little bird. I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna go over to Quilt and try and... Get him up. Okay. Yeah, just there. Yeah. And then what? Medicine check. Medicine check on You're this gonna boy. You're going to try and stabilize him. Try and stable. Okay. Free. Oh man. Fuck. That's such a bad. <laughs> <laughs> That's a natural one. Fuck. There was a nat one. <laughs> was it really? That yeah. Nat one. Ayla. Shit. Shit. This is just back to back at this point. Every combat, I'm like. Inches from death. Oh, um, I'm so sorry. <laughs> Can you use the other system? I just, uh, my, I was like, she'll use her legendary direction to teleport away, and I'm like, I wrote in the thing, like, she has to be within darkness to teleport. Man, I, I, uh, it's, it makes sense. <laughs> um, like, and, and then she's not the type to just be like, no, no, I'll let the bird man bleed out. It's like, no, no, he, he, he dies now. Give There's nobody else that face. threatens me. Um, so, and the wall as well. Is, there, is, is a medicine awful. check an action or a yes. bonus that is an, an action. action? When's her go? Um, so, in the initiative, it will be your go, the lair action, which is the walls, Quill, then her. Oh, yo. 
Oh, shit. Oh, um, my God. So the only thing that I can do is fucking barrel through the wall to get to Quill. Is that what you want to try? Yellow. No, because it's going to... It'll probably hurt, but... I don't know. I, I can't tell you. Until you try it, or unless you want to do something like an Arcana check, or... Can I try? I think the problem is, is a, there's no way Ayla has it. Ayla doesn't have any <clears throat> real experience with magic. Also, if you spend you time... can try it. If, you, you can try an Arcana check as a free action. If you get a twenty, maybe she knows what this is. But I think that's the Ayla just has no experience with magic. She's not no overall. I don't think anyone knows what like this void How is. How tall is it? It's pretty much like straight up. I'd say like twenty feet tall. It's like it goes to like the roof of the room. Also, you're raging. That ain't no time for studying. I'm raging. Is there any kind of bonus to doing that? To Arcana checks, no. No, to, if, no, to running. Yeah, I mean, yeah. If there's a strength check involved, you'll get advantage on it. If you if you can make a strength check. Can I run through the walled quill? So what you just like go, one straight. As soon as you hit it, it's it's for like it's like a, a stone wall. It, oh it's, no! It's a wall of force. Like you're just like <laughs> you pounding on this wall as you see quill and this woman standing above him just. Sorry, I can't get to you. Yeah, it's fine. I can't get unless you still got. You've just used fifteen feet. I've worked it out. I can't get to him with an action to left if I go around. You can get a butt over him, and if he makes his next death saving throw, he I'll still he can he still get one's check. Do you want to get next to her, or do you want to just next be next to him? I want to be like in the way of her mm -hmm. over him. So yeah. it, you're you're presenting a threat I wanna, because the reason I that she hit Quill before is there was no thing threatening her. Now there is a threat, so it, she's not going to attack Quill again. Now the risk to Quill is him just bleeding out. Yep. And just a 10 plus. plus. A lair End action. Of the round. She's actually quite afraid of you, Ayla, because you've been hurt in a really bad. Motherfucker. Oh, so she's pushing you back with a wall. Fuck. Oh, she's keeping me next to her. But I was over Quill. It, so as it she gets to decide the dividing point. But if I was over Quill, literally like standing over him, under does he legs. not get pushed behind me? Like under my legs? Can you occupy the same space? Make a dexterity yeah, saving throw for me. Cause like she's like, she's weaving this wall like a, like a magic spell and you're gonna try and grab Quill and yank him back with you. Cause she's trying to split you up. Yeah. I get advantage on. Is this not? Is I'd say you can have advantage because you're stood over him. Okay. Um, oh fuck that shit. Um, is that D four? What's that D four for? Uh, I think. Fourteen. That was, oh, no, that, the, you don't oh, get the D four. Oh, it's gone. Okay, D4, so twelve. Twelve. I'd say that's enough. Like you're not trying to avoid harm. You're and she doesn't really care about Quill. She just doesn't want you next to her anymore. Nice. Nice of her. Ow! <laughs> Sorry, Nova. <laughs> so the wall is now her with Araya and Lucius. Yes. And then everyone else separated. Oh. And unfortunately, Tom Hazel, Quill, <sighs> it's your turn. Oh, this dice has given me so and much this, luck in the past. This is a death Don't saving Don't say throw. that! <laughs> this could even be my favourite dice or my least favourite dice. No! Oh, no! It's a nine! <laughs> oh, it finally happened! Yeah, was, I, I mean, I just... I, I, I'm trying to think, is there anything you've forgotten? Is there anything you have? Do you have resistance inspiration? Like, uh, do you have like anything? I mean, I had resistance to necrotic when she hit me when I was down, like... With Eloquist, like... Oh, Eloquist! Eloquist oh. is there! Eloquist, do something! I will... Would he sacrifice himself? It's not really a sacrificing <laughs> I mean, himself. Right. It's more that he could he could temporarily possess Quill's body and basically give him the strength to like not necessarily be up, but maybe resist the save like take the saving throw. So I will roll a death saving throw as if Eloquist was making it. So you get two death saving throws. Okay, that's wow. It, okay. And I think that that's a that's a pretty like it's he's trying to he, they are trying to give you strength to survive this. Yeah. I'm going to roll this publicly because I, I worry that people would think that I'm fudging this roll. Yeah. 
No, oh, seven. Oh, oh, even Eliquis couldn't do I, it. I've done everything I can. Um, oh, god damn. Welcome to the club. Oh, that's the first main series character death I've ever had. And I just, I... Welcome to the club. Oh, <laughs> thing is, is... God damn. I, I don't want to say, I don't want to say. So, Quill, um, we'll come to you in a second. Yeah. Uh, but the rest of you, Araya and Lucius, you see the ghost of Eloquist kind of shunted out of Quill's body. And this ghostly, like, you know, elven face looks over to the two of you in horror. Is he on that side of it or the, the other side of the wall? You guys don't see the ghost, the wall, like, the ghost doesn't appear through the wall. You don't know what's happened Wait, at this so point. But no, Quill's no, with me. Yeah. Yeah. He's on oh, my Quill's, side oh, okay, wall. sorry, yeah, yeah, I forgot that Quill's on your side. So, in fact, you two don't we know. Don't. But Araya no. and everybody else, you oh. guys see Eloquist kind of like shunted out of his body. Um, after Quills go, it's unfortunately hers. And she will. She wants to get into the darkness. If you need a minute, man, just go take it. I'm going to sit here seething for a bit. <laughs> just looking at her miniature like... <laughs> uh, Lucius, as you've been attacking the, the altar, she brings up that same ray hand, and she's gonna fire a ray at you. 19. Yeah. That's gonna be five, 13 points of necrotic. I don't take that kind of damage. <laughs> <laughs> now is not the time to fuck with me. Why? Because I'm, I'm sad. Guys. No, I'm sad. Um, fuck. Nova. Um, I would ask, I don't know what to do, um, I guess I'll Eldritch Blast the altar again. Okay, you're gonna go for the altar? Yeah, well I, I can't, mm -hmm. I'm stuck. You can move round. You can move round. Oh, it's on the darkness, can... isn't it? Um, I mean, the other thing is, you you know you can stand in the darkness. It doesn't just, hurt you. You, you start just, your turn there. You begin these, like, you your energy slowly gets drained away. Yeah, I don't want that. That's fine. If that's what you, then you can attack the altar or you can run around. I think my moat disappeared, by the way. Because yes. I was yeah, you were. It did, yeah. I forgot to tell you that, but that's you're fine. right. In fact, actually, I just realized Quill had a moat the whole time, so you had a minus one to all those saving throws anyway. Cool. So. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah, I didn't go into the light. I think I would have had loads of moats for the amount of times she hit me. Yeah. Oh, no, it's not from her melee attacks. Oh. No, it's okay. from the darkness. What are you doing, Nova? I'm so, like, my mind is just, like... I mean, you can, you can, I mean, you can just do nothing. Uh, and say, you know, take a readied action or... Um... Yeah. I'm going to shoot the altar again. Okay. Eldritch Blast? Um, yeah. 13 and a 14 plus 7 each. So. Yeah, 20, 21. Yeah, easy hits. Uh, 2 points of damage. Two, do you roll you've two rolled ones? a 1 on every damage you've you rolled. You rolled two ones? Yes! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> okay, uh, yeah, you just, in this panic, you start firing at the altar like you've seen Lucius do, but the blasts just. It's dispersing the darkness a little bit, but it doesn't seem to be having the same effect that Lucius's big spell did. Um, after Nova, it is Araya. I'm gonna move on, moving up, move up to her. Okay. And yeah. Bring the blades. Slash her with my blades. She goes here. She's not really in the you, darkness. You sling the longbow, pull the rapier, pull the short sword. Fucking that one! Are you oh kidding? God. What have you done to this table? I've done nothing. I've done nothing, I promise. That's, yeah, that's an eight. Uh, so the first attack misses. Yep. You do have your second, you have your bonus action I'll with your it. offhand. Yep, I'll do it again. Stop rolling that dice. 11. Don't roll it again. I just rolled high. 17. 17 hits. And then you sneak attack, extra d6. Uh, you, d6 plus 3 first. You don't get sneak attack because you don't have an ally. Do I? And ah. you don't have advantage on the attack roll. Oh no! You do get your hunter's prey because you've not done that yet. No. So it's two d six plus. Um... Done that. Oh wait, you rolled a dice off the table. I did. You get max damage. That's the rule. That don't listen to him. That's two, so that's five damage. Just re-roll it. No, re-roll it again, so it's on the table. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> six. That means and then it's plus how do you uh, hunter's prey, six, or what six, is it called? Plus two. Uh, it's another d six, isn't it? Yeah, it's another d six. 
That's five, eight damage. Eight points. Six, no, 11. 11 points. I'm going to fight you! So you come up and you manage to slide the knife in and you... And you can see now for the first time as you pull the blade free, blood dripping off the blade, cool. spilling down the side of her armor and she's just like, at least I won't go alone. Um, Bring it on. Ayla. I can't get to her. Um, can, how many? I can't see yet. Um, so, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45. I can't remember. I'll dash. Yep. So that's 45. And then you can easily get to her from there. Yeah, I'm just going to get up to here because mm -hmm. I know I can't get to her. Okay. But So you dash over. And the whole time, I'm just, just screaming, like, just... At the end of your turn, she's going to use one of her pull abilities. She'll do it here. 5, 10, 15, yeah, she'll kiss, because she's worried about you two. So can you and Orion make strength saving throws for her, please? Oh my god, I rolled terribly. Oh, yeah. Nat 20. You're fine. <laughs> Best of both worlds. <laughs> 11. 11, just not enough. I rolled a four oh. and a two. Ayla, you threw yourself <laughs> pulled against the, the flat stone of the walls itself as you're sucked against the wall. Um, well, now the walls are moving. Cool. Oh, oh my god! <laughs> she hates me! Yeah, she, she's terrified. There's almost like a fear. Like, she looks over and for all this speaking of her, like, the inevitable about welcoming death, Araya and Ayla are scaring her. Like, you can see there's this moment of, like, she, she immediately just shuts Ayla away. Um, and then turns on, ready to try and fight uh, On the one Araya. hand, I'm kind of proud of myself for making her terrify me this much, mm. but on the other hand, let me out! Yeah, you're no trapped Let me out! Against, so that's not that. Quill, unfortunately, it would be you go. Um, Eloquis, on his turn, will, uh, on their turn, will move up to Lucius, because he's seen you take damage. He's like, take my hand. Uh, as that's happening, uh -huh. the wall went away, uh -huh. and I see Quill on the floor. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yep. And yeah, I will grab your hand in like a demystified bewilderment. <laughs> Uh, and you, you get this sensation of this other being kind of filling your presence. So you have resistance to necrotic and psychic damage, but you also hear like, I'm afraid your friend is gone. I can take con uh, control if you need me to. I'm not really listening. Okay. So I'm so just, just not listening. turn to her. Yep. Okay. It's not your turn. Okay. It is... Slowly turning to her. Because <laughs> it's her turn first, unfortunately. Um, she will move to here. She's going to make one attack against Araya with the blade. That is 19 to hit. Yep. Oh, three, jeez, that's low. Seven points of slashing damage. Nice. One point of necrotic for eight. Fantastic, thank you very much. Um, and then, yeah, that's the end of her turn. Nice. Lucius. Um, I am finished my turn to mm -hmm. her, and I'm gonna just mindlessly cast Melf's Acid Out. She just point, like, soullessly. It's like, what have you done? Okay. Cast. Okay, so it's a... Range spell attack. Yeah. Six plus five. It's eleven. Afraid nothing. It doesn't hit, but it does do damage on a miss, I think. Uh, on a miss, the arrow splashes uh, for half as much, so two d four. There you go. Uh, d four. Doing some d fours. Take this. I got two d four. Oh. Bam. <laughs> so half seven. Half. Well, that's already half because it's forty four, right? No, it's two d four half. So Are you sure? Seven. Does it say half damage or does it say 2d4 damage? 44 immediately and 2d4 at the end of the next. Oh, yeah, it's 40. Yeah. So, so it's seven. So seven points of acid damage, I was going to say. And my dichromancy? Yeah, sure. Is this what do you do? Two? How, what does it look? How do you do it? Uh, I'm going to. Is there any green on you, Quill? Any green? Uh, uh, orange. I don't think so. Orange, acid. sorry. Oh, orange, yeah. Loads. I think yeah, orange for Quill. So you reach over with one hand and your orange eye flashes. You pull it up, you take it into a form or just like a blade or... A small feather. Into a feather. Oh, oh, oh. And as, as it does, she turns, she brings up the blade, tries to cut it, but being magic, it just through the blade, hits the mask. 
the acid splashes over her face, the mask kind of falls away, crumples into these parts, and she looks, the, bl the blast from her eyes like annihilates her hands. She looks down and then you just hear this and she sucks into a tiny point and then Oh, with the feather? Why you got to she do me like so that? She was so close to dying. She, you had her on the ropes of hit points for so long. The walls disappear. There we are. The okay. blackness kind of remains. So, no. As she dies, oh and perhaps for most of you, your attention is drawn elsewhere. However, your eyes adjust. The darkness all begins to burn away, as if being burnt by a white light. The light from Scaldi's lantern begins spreading out. Um, and probably a little bit of light from Quill's body as well, just begins. And as it begins to spider web, it burns the darkness away. And what was once this terrifying void of shadow becomes this beautiful room of white stone speckled with gold symbols of Siaska and the Star Mother. The altar becomes this resplendent opaline um, dedication carved with features of the gods and the goddesses, laden with treasure. You can see that treasure has been piled all around the altar um, and it just burns, burns away the darkness. And you are left in this room with this, there is a sense of peace, but now also with a, a tinge of grief um, as Quill's body remains there. Um, I don't know what time it is, whether it's time for a pretty break. Good, it's pretty good time. It's a pretty good time for a break. pretty banging, and then Sid's got a little sad face as well. We're gonna take a break, guys. Um, I need to have a conversation with Mr. Tom Hazel. Oh, and when we come back, man. we'll see what happens to Quill's spirit. Oh, God. See you in a bit. See you in five. <laughs>
Hello, welcome back to High Rollers. It's a dark, dark day. Uh, your cruel dungeon master Mark Humes returns. Uh, killing his players again. Uh, I'm gonna sit here for an hour and a half. Yeah, well, first things first. You can haunt us. There is a moment of real Quill. You remember being in this temple of darkness, uh, a red bladed light raised above you, and then nothing. And when you open your eyes next, there is light and blue skies. You look up and you know you're somewhere. You don't know where. You're very high, higher than you ever flew. And it's then you realize you're flying again, with both wings. God damn it. And as you look down, you can see ever so faintly the ruined watchtower that you had entered with you and your friends. Mm -hmm. And there is a pause when things begin to dawn and you begin to realize certain things. And you just hear a very familiar voice. I'm sorry, Quill. I couldn't even see you in that place. Whatever darkness, I couldn't see past it. And you see the winged humanoid form of your god Hesper, clutching the staff in one hand, the book in the other. His form is transparent, but detailed. He just looks at you very sadly. I'm afraid we don't have much time. Kalara will be here shortly. Can I respond? Yeah, yeah, of course, yeah. Um, I did everything I could, Hesper. I know you did. And I could not be more proud to have chosen you. You did everything you could. And just... This is fate, sometimes. This is my path. For now. You have very good friends who have a very difficult choice to make. But, and he raises the staff, and from your heart, a silver thread <sighs> begins spinning and twisting down towards the land below you. And then you feel it connect with something. You know that that's your body that it's connected to. This is your, your life. This is your thread. It will remain for some time. And should your allies find a way to bring you back, this will lead you past the cradle, back to Erois. And if they don't? then you will enjoy the afterlife of peace that my mother created, that Siaska created for all of Eroes' souls. It is a blissful land of peace and prosperity and goodwill. You'll, you'll be happy there, I know. But there's still so much more I wanted to do. Well, let's not count out your allies just yet. But if nothing else, there'll be other ways. Perhaps you can help me. Well, that's an option at least. And then you hear this kind of rustle of leaves and flowers. Um, and as you look around you, you can see a path formed of beautiful blooming flowers that very quickly decay and fall, but then more bloom and appear as she takes each step. A woman of pure white skin, not pale, but white alabaster, in black breastplate with a wreath of flowers around her neck and a long billowing cloak. And she holds a lantern in one hand and a great sword in the other. And as she comes down, she looks, brother, is this the one? Yes, sister, this is my chosen. And you see this beautiful feminine feature, older perhaps, you would have put her in about 50s or 40s. She looks down, whew, the great sword just seems to clip to her back. She offers a hand. Come, Chosen. I need to lead you past the cradle. And I'll spend the rest of 
Whatever time with you, I suppose. It won't take us long, but yes, you may ask me questions if you wish. But this thread will connect to your body. If your allies can find the power that your brother has told me that they have, we can use it to guide you back. But they do not have long. One of my priestesses is with them, and I will instruct her to keep your body as safe as she can. But fear not. Peace awaits you now. She takes your hand, and you begin flying up into the sky, higher beyond the clouds, beyond even you ever imagined of flying. The world changes from blue to darkness, and you see the multicolored lights of the cradle beginning to form in front of you. Kalara raises her lantern, and a small passageway, an arch begins to open, and she leads you out past it. And as you move up into the darkness, you can now see the thousands of lights of other worlds. And then they begin to fade into white light as she takes you to the beyond. And Quill's spirit passes into the afterlife. <laughs> the rest of you, down on Eroes, see as what I described before, the room is now of purest alabaster white and gold. Um, it is clearly a shrine to Siaska, the Star Mother. There is an altar, and it is laden with treasures. It is piled high with what you can see to be silver bars. There is a platinum statue of Siaska. There is a shield with Siaska's holy symbol emblazoned onto it, leaning up against the altar itself. And on the altar is a necklace with a brilliant crystal star um, that sits amidst it all. Eloquis separates from Lucius. I am so terribly sorry for your companion. I tried to save him, but I could not. My time is limited here, now that the presence that was corrupting this place fades. I feel Kalara calling to me leave this place. But I wish to thank you for everything, especially him. He nods towards Quill's body for everything. These gifts, and he gestures towards the altar, they will do no good here. Take them, use them. They are for you. And his form begins to fade until it's nothing. Uh, I'll probably walk over to Quill and just <coughs> break apart as Lucius would. You just watch as Lucius just collapses to his knees, I guess, and just... So he has no real need for the treasures or anything. Yeah, so he just bury, buries his face into Quill's feathers. I might take a feather. If there's one loose, hmm. I'm going to add that to my I think that would be. I think that would be. Scaldi watches quietly for a moment. She seems to be swaying the lantern and muttering something under her breath. I think Arise is gonna put a hand on Lucia's shoulder, try and pat, pat. try and be a little little source of comfort. Yeah. Ale's gonna hit the wall a few times and be just really fucking mad. Yeah, the, the pound, the, the blows resonate through the hall, each one. <laughs> Bigger and wider cracks begin to appear. We did our best. That's all I can say. I'm sorry. I think Nova would start to turn away, mm. almost as if she can't deal with deal this. With it. Mm -hmm. But given what's happened in the last few days and, mm -hmm. you know, the almost return <laughs> the last week, <coughs> she would turn back and walk over and look at this, you know, not, it, you know, not try and turn away from it, but mm -hmm. yeah. take it in. Take it in, understand it. And probably wrap an arm around Lucius on the other side from Mariah and um, mm -hmm. just probably put a hand on Quill, like just... Um, Ayla's going to march up to the altar, mm -hmm. take the, everything that's there, mm -hmm. just put it 
in her bag and then go over and pick up Quill's body. Mm. Okay. Yeah, you probably have to sling the shield like onto the pack itself. Um, or just hand the shield to somebody else and just pick mm -hmm. up Quill's body and just say, let's get out of here. Wait, we fought so hard to be here. Please just give me a few minutes to just look around, just see if I can learn what, what that woman was doing here, of who she was following. It might stop this happening again. Take the time you need. I'll be here when you need to go. And I'll just put Quill down gently again, but s just stand by him. Yeah. Um, <coughs> Scaldi takes a deep breath, and you can see she, there is hesitation. She, she is kind of almost keeping herself back from everyone else. Um, she places the lantern down on the ground. I, I, and then she kind of looks down. I'm, I'm so sorry. I, I did not know that this kind of woman was responsible. This, this was a threat bigger than I thought. I'm, I'm sorry. She just doesn't look. She's looking down at the floor. Yeah. Um. It's okay. Uh, we, none of us knew what was at the end of this. Of the. It's. It's. Yeah. I think that's the problem, isn't it? With us, is we always throw ourselves into things that we can't handle. How many more are we going to do? Quill would have still done it for Sentry. Whatever I can do, my bill, the things I offered for your other friend, uh, I'll make the same for you, for Quill. If you wish to speak with him, I can perform that. Or I'll keep his body safe as long as I can. If you still wish to go to Katavag, I'll company with you. Uh, cast the ritual whenever I can. If I alternate between the two of them, I can keep their both of their bodies preserved. We need a power source. We need we need another star, an, another artifact, something. I'm afraid I don't know anything like that. Perhaps the shepherd may, but. Such things are very rare. Um, if you still wish to look around, Nova, now would be the time. I'll, I'll just start, I guess I'll start with the altar and mm. I just want to see if there's any trace of this woman and what she was trying so to So I will tell you now, physically, yeah. there's no trace. Trace. No mask the light has burnt it away. No, even the mask. Like you watched, you almost replay the memory in your head. Her, it was like a her entire form was sucked into a pinprick of, of darkness and then it just vanished. Like Sauron. And then vanished. Um, your footly stream. But, Nova, mm -hmm. there is a presence in your mind. Okay. Tiangong was there. He knew, and you get this sense yeah. of, I know, but he can't communicate it to you. There's not enough sentience there but there is enough to kind of, you feel this sense of like, he knows, he knows what she was doing, what she was serving, but he can't verbalize it or they can't verbalize it to you. Uh, um, can I ask for a name? Just a, a name? Yeah, if you spend, you want to spend some just time like inwardly focusing. Uh, how, how long? Make an arcana check for me. It's, it's a moment, but it's, you're trying to meditate on the magical kind of energy. Eight. Hey, it's going to take you some time. Maybe next time you take a rest, you can focus on this more. Okay. But you think that he, that they might be able to give you something. Can I have a quick look at the coffin where they were? Yeah, there? so you can look at the back room and you can now see this colossal steel chest plate. I mean, this, this thing is probably the size of a small cottage. Like, it's massive. This must be the chest of the war titan, the, the giant mech that you saw outside. Yeah. Um, this must be its chest cavity. And in the middle of it is this coffin-shaped crystal, like in com like compartment. And you see many of the same cables and lines of runes that you recognized in the shuttle where you found the first Tiangong. Mm. Yeah, you see the same sort of like technology, basically. Um, 
um, Tiango, there's a, a, a place, like a tribladed segment that was built to house the, the dagger, the throwing dagger that you saw that's now merged with your own Tiango. Mm. So no, nothing else, like just pretty much? It's ruined mainly. Um, you get the sense that it's been here for a long time, 500 years, about the time since the Sundering, mm. and it's been running very slowly, running low on power. Just this shard giving what little it can. Okay. Um, you, you took all the... I just put them all in my bag, didn't yeah. even look at them. Cool. Yeah, I've got a list, so when you go through it... Let's bleed this place dry. Yeah? Yeah, I guess. Yeah. There were other areas on the way out that we can check as well. That we didn't know that there's nobody around. I believe that all the undead spirits have now passed on. The cleansing of whatever that woman was doing here. Their spirits are at rest, and this place is... Whatever was fueling their undead nature is gone. I guess if... If we can gather the funds, room, they're going to help Quill. Yeah, well, yeah, we need or money century. for both of them, so that's right. There was one room we didn't... Well, there was the chasm going right, and then there was the first room where that spirit talked to me. Mm -hmm. Those are the yeah. only rooms we haven't checked. It's also the dormitories, which was oh, another corridor as well. Oh, yeah. okay. So it, do you want to just visit those rooms? Because there is now no danger. Yeah, um, that's why I figured there's no danger. There's the magical defenses are disabled. There are no spirits. Um, so you guys can literally just go through the dungeon, effectively. So if you begin making your way back, um, Ayla, at this point, I don't think you can carry anything more because you've got all of sure. the stuff and, and Quill's body. Um, you make your way back through the Hall of the Faith with the tiled god symbols. Um, seemingly, de de well, you deactivated it, so you just make your way past that. Um, and instead of going straight on, you turn to your left, make your way down a corridor, and you open up a, a stone doorway that leads into what would have once been an old dormitory. The place reeks of death. You can see that there are bones and armor, some of them still in bed, some of them collapsed on the ground. Um, most of them appear to be ancient. Uh, there are two creatures now remained, they're, they're dead or undead, dead, you know what I mean. Um, dead undead. Dead undead, lying in the center of the room. Two of them are dressed very similar to the warriors you saw aboard the ship beneath the Rosewater Lake. Uh, they are dressed all in black. They have this skin-tight leather armor um, that doesn't seem to have any buckles or fastenings. It, it just doesn't seem to be any clear way of, of how it sizes or fits, but they have these suits of leather. They also appear to have these, um, they have these braces which have these strange kind of advanced like technology fittings. Um, and you can see that there appears to be some sort of piton with a sort of chamber um, and you can see blue vials, which kind of crackle with lightning a little bit. Mm. Uh -oh. Yoink. Yeah. Uh, one of them appears to be broken. Um, the other one appears to be in good condition. Um, you can take so both. What, what would you call it? Um, let's call it a lightning cable. Lightning cable. One of them broken. They that could have gone for the one-winged person. <laughs> Uh, he could have had the working one. That's I mean, these are like braces. These are like, um, it looks like it's something you clip onto your wrist and then you could fire destiny, it. Destiny, Mark. It was destiny. Um, yeah, and then their, their leather armor. Everything else about them seems to be rusted and faded or old and bloated. They look a little bit better preserved than the rest of the bodies here. But you can salvage stuff off of them if you wish. Is there any, like... Um Coins and things as well. Uh, on those bodies, no. But there. Do you want to take the just? You want to take the braces? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can just take the braces. Yep. Yeah. Um, yeah. So as you, I mean, you make your way back. I mean, you would have spotted any coins in your previous rooms. Um, making your way back, you wind your way back towards the uh, flooded chamber um, where the turret was placed, now destroyed. Uh, Aelo, you have to swim with Quill's body. Um, as you take it through. I mean, you're strong enough that you yeah. can do that. Uh, you Do you wish to explore the chasm? There was like a, a narrow chasm uh, that seemed to lead into a natural cavern. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. 
It's a tight squeeze, so I think Ayla is, you probably can't go through it with Quill's body. You can either go through it and leave it with somebody else. Scaldi will happily remain outside and, and basically carry the body to the entrance. Um, Scaldi just, sure. if you wish to explore this place, let me take Quill outside. I'll begin preparing the ritual to preserve his body. She takes, takes the bird in her arms, and you can see that she takes it with incredible reverence. She kind of takes it gently, takes a deep breath, and then poof, in the water, and she swims towards the entrance, leaving the rest of you free to explore. Um, or go with her if you wish, like Lucius, if you just want to stay. I think I'll stay with Quill. Okay, so you just go with them. So Nova, Ayla, and uh, Araya. Um, making your way through this narrow, twisting, like collapsed cave. It's almost like a, a natural passageway that's collapsed in. You emerge into a underwater chamber. You can see a huge metallic hand from the War Titan bursting through the ceiling. Um, its palm is open um, and embedded into it like a thorn is a javelin. Uh, and the javelin appears to be marked with lightning bolt symbols, like carved into it. And it's just embedded into its palm. There is also at the bottom of the at the bottom of the cavern, you can see that there are piles and piles of bones oh. of all sorts of creatures and races. Some of which some of which don't look human, um, but there's just piles of bones um, and bodies and rusted bits of armor. Um, and then there's just this giant hand with this javelin sticking out the middle like a thorn. Can I get the javelin out? Yeah, make an athletics check for me. Oh, God. Natural 20. Yeah. Ah. You just pull it free and you hear this crackle um, along its shaft. Sweet. Um, I do write that down. I will. I think we'll just go through things afterwards. Okay. We can. Just make a quick note just so you know you've got it. Um, Any cool looking teeth? You want to go through the bones? <laughs> make an investigation check if you want to search yeah, for cool teeth. I love you, Rihanna. A little bit of light-heartedness. Any cool-looking teeth? Uh, Some of them might be gold. I'm going to make a necklace. Where is he? I can't... The fingers on it. Oh yeah, of course it is. <laughs> <laughs> How much? 18. 18. With an 18, you find loads of cool teeth, like tusks. Ooh. You find some like razor-sharp, thin needle-like teeth in the skull of some creature you've never seen before. Nice. But you also find some shiny, like, treasure treasure. Um, you find on one of the bony fingers, there is a gold ring inlaid with bloodstones. Ooh, very cool. Uh -huh. And one of them wears a bronze circlet with an opal in its center. <gasps> yes, please. Yep. Mm. So uh, both appear to be worth about 250 gold each. Each? Mm-hmm. Nice. So the ring is 250 gold and the circlet is worth 250 gold. Why are you laughing? Nothing. I'll tell you later. Okay. <laughs> um, and then do you want to check what was the last room? The quartermaster? The yeah. one where that guy shouted at me. Okay. Yeah. yeah, so you make your way in there. Happy times. And you can see the, it's all flooded, So, but the three of you can hold your breath the longest. You're in debt indefinite and you two can hold it for ages. So I'm not even going to check that stuff. Um, there is, the room is split. Um, it's this long corridor, you can see floating bodies, there are more bones, armor, but in the middle of the room there is bars, like separating the two halves of the room. There is a door, it appears very rusted, uh, but there appears to be some sort of door that would have once been used. Um, and you can see on the other side of the bars, when you swim closer, there are several boxes, um, all stacked up or floating up against the ceiling. Um, some of them appear to be in better condition than others. Um, what's your passive perception? What's your passive perception and what's your passive perception? Um, 14. 15, 14. Passive perception there. Nine. Nine. So Araya and Ayla, you guys notice that there is one, out of all the chests, a lot of them seem to be waterlogged and ruined. Nova, you have no clue. You're oh, too busy looking at everything else. Um, I'm distracted by the death. The two of you, uh, notice that there is one which appears to be a, a decorated wooden chest with silver latches and the emblem of Siaska. One appears to be made from metal and has bronze fastenings. Um, and then the final chest is a thin carved wooden box with gold and silver etchings in the shape of an hourglass. Um, and they're, out, of the, out of all the boxes, you can see those seem to be the most intact. They're about 30 feet behind the bars underwater. So you're going to need a way of getting to them. Can I? Rip open the door. You can make an athletics check, yeah, sure. I'll try to. Um, <clears throat> 19. 
19. Um, you begin making some headway, like you're like pulling it, you feel it coming loose. Um, the others can help you if they want. Like, yeah, I'll help. Yeah, How athletics check. Yeah, can I just blast them? 18. 18. You, by the time you start raising your hand to blast, Araya swims over and the two muscly women are just like, Bruh! I'm, I'm just going to casually just be like, la, la, oh, just like <laughs> through the water. And roll through my hair, you're like, kind of swimming, right? You're like, blub, 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 treading water. Totally me meant this. Like, yeah, oh. uh, and the, you hear this like, and the bars just hit the bottom of the room, kind of under the water. And yeah, you can just swim in. Do you want to grab all three? Yeah. Okay, yeah. So you have can we just three boxes. Like pull them out towards and just go to the because we're pretty close yeah. to the Yeah, you can just drag them to the entrance from here. Yeah, for and sure. Yep. There's nothing else that we can see around. The no, room. looking through the boxes, most of it would have once it looks like it was like I mean there's things like waterlogged, like most of the rations would have broken apart over centuries, yeah. but that maybe there's things like wooden spoons that have like become you know, really waterlogged and swollen. Rotten. There's like nails that have become rusted, just like piles of rusted, like all fused together. It looks like this was some sort of supply area. Mm. Um, used no, to house stuff. There's no dude anymore. I guess the dude's spirit. Dude off. Yeah, the poltergeist gone. is gone. You never know his story. No. Why he was shouting at me. Yep. And then you emerge outside, um, and it is dawn. It is a new day outside, and in <sighs> fact, it is a new month. Ooh. You guys don't know this in character, but it is actually a full month. Each month in Aroes is 32 days. All you have been happened. adventuring for 32 days. All this has happened in 32 days. Yep. <laughs> How long since... Um, Worst since days century? ever. Uh, not, I think it's been three days. Three days. Since Sentry died. And another one to the list. Yeah. Two of in five. such a short span of time. Yeah, and you can see Sentry has laid Quill's body out on the dry stone. Uh, um, uh, Scaldi. Scaldi. Oh, Scaldi has raised, sorry. Uh, Scaldi has raised, has got uh, Quill's body. Oof. Um, <laughs> she <laughs> has laid some sort of blanket over it out of her kit, like a sleeping blanket. Um, and she is casting a ritual. She's casting gentle repose on Quill. Can I take the gold ring that I found? Mm -hmm. And like, just put it on one of Quill's talons. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah Scaldi won't stop you. I don't know if Lucius or anybody else would. But I think at this point, it's down to you guys. Like, there's no immediate threats. You have cleansed the Night Eye. You have prevented some great source of evil from gaining strength here. And it is peace and quiet. <laughs> I did it. But Feel there like is hero. there is a dead companion. Yeah. Thanks. Got through all the traps. Fought off many monsters, survived many battles. I mean, at least it wasn't a death by the spinny blade things. Mm. Yeah, that would true. have been. Yeah, that would. At be least it's by weird Light black saber. hole face. I mean, I guess the, the natural reaction is, "Haha, you now have to carry me." Uh, <laughs> I can't carry you all. God damn it! Stop it! You have two dead bodies to carry around. Mm. So, what's the plan? Uh, I'll walk up next to Scaldi mm -hmm. and just. Uh, Say, thank you, Scaldi. We appreciate the respect you're giving our friends. This is my, this is my job, Lucius. This is my purpose. Oh, you don't have to say that. Uh, I'm sure you're doing out of the... I, I am. I am. But what I mean to say is, please, uh, do not thank me. It's my fault that you were here, and the, this is the least I can do. This is what my goddess would want me to do. We said we would and fate has uh, dealt its hand. You have kept to your oath and I will keep to mine. I will accompany you until your friends are back, if they can be. Me too. I can at least accompany you to Katavag, at least. But if you need to go anywhere else, if there are other powers you wish to seek, then so be it. Well, I don't want to speak for all of us, but I think our priority is um, getting these two back on their feet. The... I mean, such magic is rare and powerful. And I'm not sure you will find another crystal like the one that you had before. But That's okay. That one's just a power of century. I'm sure we can get something else for Bertie. I hope so. Um, I truly do. I mean, you remember what we had to go through to get this for century. Yes, but that's the Guardian, right? Birdie's a lot more simple. He's fleshy. Uh, it, uh, do, we need a power source. 
a, a super magical source of energy. Can I do a arcana check about revivify and stuff like that? Yeah, sure. Based on yeah. High elf education. Yeah, absolutely. It's also mind. legend. This so, <laughs> there's a tray right there. I hate how you roll on the <laughs> smallest space. You could even at least move your iPad back a bit. Uh, Twenty. <laughs> Twenty. So I think that it would be more. It would be a mixture of education in things like history and magic. Also, maybe a little bit of nanny stories. Um, very rarely have people been brought back from the dead. Very rarely. Only people who are very sacred, who nations have invested resources into bringing back, um, legendary heroes. There is the tale of Dana Bloodfire, which is very famous, um, especially amongst the Sky Cities. She was a human woman who was killed and brought back through flame. Her body just erupted in flames and she was reborn as a, as a child. She was reborn as a baby. And this cycle it's continues cool. repeating. Huh? Mm -hmm. um, but this cycle keeps repeating, and now she's this figure, and she leads the Sky City of Horizon. Um, she's known as, as Dana the Phoenix. That's her oh, moniker. Sky City of Horizon. That's yes. Cool. But, she, but that Pretty seems to be ahead. like her own, like some sort of power she has. She had her own. That she can re revive herself. But she has to grow up. She literally is like a phoenix where she dies, comes back as a baby, and then grows up again. Um, there are other stories. Pretty Generally, cool. all of the stories about people coming back from the dead, it requires... Normally, it will require something of incredible purity, of incredible um, sacredness or holiness, or magical power. Uh, diamonds, the purest diamonds that can ever be create, like ever be found, worth thousands of gold, can be used. Is there any in the Elanester household? The Elanastos would have the money to buy one, and the people to get it. They're very far away, though. Well, not as far away as you might think. All of the major cities in Erois, places like Katuvag and Gold Throne, they have airships, but they also have teleportation circles. Oh, dang, son. They cost money, but they generally go between the sky cities and the lowland big capitals. Bam. So you could pay to just teleport the party to... From Casavag. Casavag. You would need to check if they have a teleportation circle for Gusthaven, which is where the Elanasto estate is. I thought of all that in a split <laughs> second. It's, it's memories coming back to you. Yeah. Did you go slightly cross-eyed? <laughs> a little bit. Um, I have high hopes. Would a lightning storm be enough magical energy? A natural storm? Well, the storms that are going around <coughs> here are, are magical, right? They are, yeah. Um, it's one point you would, one gigawatts. Uh, uh, okay, you're trying to screw me over. You're trying to make me think of stuff on the fly. Here's something for you. No. <laughs> you're going to have death. <laughs> no. So I think, like so this ball. is Nova's calculating mind, right? This is, this is Nova's high intelligence. God, that was threatening. You suddenly realize the storms here are magical. Mm -hmm. That's what you've learned. Mm -hmm. The ones you've encountered wouldn't have enough strength. Mm -hmm. and that's because their magic and their power has likely faded as they've traveled from their source. Mm -hmm. oh. But the source of the storms mm -hmm. would certainly be powerful enough. And Quill told us beforehand that I he did, yeah. knew that they were magical and that there was a source to them. He said that the source was the Valley of the Storms, I believe. That, that Hesper had told him to go there. Yeah. Secret source. The, the special source. Special source. How would you like to become a lightning rod? You're dead. Um. <laughs> Frank and I think, I I think that is rod. within Nova's like scientific process that she would kind of go, that is something yeah. that could work. I think probably... But you would still need someone who can cast yeah. the ritual. Yeah. How much is it ghosting if I speak, by the way? Pretty ghosty. Okay, I won't. I, I, I feel bad I that you can't engage. No, no, it's cool. Um, um, for once, I'm a viewer. And yeah. This is great. Turns out, well, roll the party, is good. I mean, Scaldi, <laughs> Scaldi can cast Speak with Dead once per day. Should we just keep talking to him? Hi, how are you considering, doing? Considering, I mean, Since yesterday. she normally has to charge, but considering she was the one that brought you here and got Quill cool killed, oh, yeah. she will wave those feet. <laughs> What's your favorite color? Yeah. <laughs> no. I think we already discussed that. It's we, once per day and it's I've five forgotten. questions. 
Um, <laughs> Honestly, Ayla wouldn't care. Um, she wouldn't. We, What's your favorite color? We could probably bring Quill back through storms. So it's it's not so much the, the value of the item; it's the magical, the the the, the mag magic, purity. magic, purity, purity, magical essence. Yes. But he said to us before, didn't he, that the storms here are magical and there's a source in the Valley of Storms. So if we could harness that magic, that might be enough. It might be the equivalent of the Star Fragment. It's not enough to have the source. We also need someone that's able to transfer that into. Yes, we do. But what I'm saying is I there's a deep lack of other sources right now than this, other than you want to give this to Quill and then what to Sentry? <coughs> I don't know. I, I don't know. I was hoping... Your friend mentioned that, his, that Hesper spoke to him in dreams. Mm -hmm. There are ways that you can speak to the gods. There are spells, rituals. Um, if you can find the cleric of Hesper... As long as it doesn't involve getting hit by lightning again and knocked out, because that wasn't a very fun way to speak to a god. I'm afraid that's not how my god works, but perhaps Hesper could give you more information. This place we're going to, is it likely there's clerics of that kind? Um, but we, we keep talking about going to Katavag with we the shepherd. We need to get sentry. But, but, but here's the thing, I, I said this before, the shepherd, he sounds like a, a druid? Yes. The, the spell he would use is, is it would bring sentry back, but not as sentry. Well, maybe, but there's a risk that she would change race. Yes. It, it, the power of reincarnation, there is... I imagine that such a spell would not bring your guardian friend back as a guardian. Guardians are not born, they are not part of the natural cycle. Such a spell, if it even works, would likely return her as a, an elf or a human or um, an Arakokra or something similar. My intention wasn't to uh, speak to this shepherd at all. It was merely to get to a town so that we could utilize, potentially say, a teleportation circle or passage through an airship back to my homeland, where I have a lot of wealth that can buy such things, that can bring people back from the dead. Uh, what's the, sorry Mark, what's the spell, what's the spell to re, so the what? Vivify. So you have reincarnate. Yeah. You also have raise dead is the raise other dead. spell. And that's or the resurrection. So raise dead has a 10 day limit. The person has to have died within 10 days. Mm -hmm. Gentle repose will kind of make that null and void. Um, Resurrection can be used on somebody who's been dead for like a year or something like that. Okay. But resurrection is like a seventh level spell. Raised dead is about fifth level. Okay. Um, for general information, this is something all of you would know. Spell casters of that level are very rare. Mm. They tend to be, if not the leaders of small city states, then high advisors or people like high priests of a church or something like that. You would need to, you know, not everybody can just fifth level spells. Mm. Which is what makes, but, but it, it's what makes you guys special as well, right? You have the potential to become yeah. s these figures. If, if yeah. you were just like, let's go to the local town. Ah, <laughs> oh, an 11th level wizard. Hello, sir. Would you bring our friend back? It kind of mm. means that you guys aren't as cool. Yeah. Um, I mean, there was the midwife that, that was mentioned. Uh, uh, Scaldi? The, mid, the, midwife's, the midwife's forge is a, an old legend, yes. I, I, I'm afraid that Velena is not my god, but uh, not my goddess, but I mean, there's always been stories about uh, her essence being there, and she is the, she's a goddess of life and creation. Somebody and, like that, I'm sure, would have. Didn't she create the guardians? I mean, the. Did I, um, Did I dream that? I'm I've, I've certainly never heard that, but I'm not very well read on such subjects, I couldn't say. If we go, <coughs> if we go oh to the Elanastra estate, that is a great hub to get anywhere. Regardless of choice we make, I could refund. <coughs> I can use all the contacts that I have with my family to find the best solution. Is Scully, is there a teleportation circle at Cadavarg? I have not been there in a long time, but I certainly remember traders mentioning such things. It's normally out of... Uh, most, most folk couldn't afford it, so we 
get passage on airships or, you know, travel there or wait for the sky cities to come past normally. But if you're in a rush, I believe that you can pay for it. Um, it's operated by uh, a, a number of wizards, uh, folks from sky cities like uh, Master Lucius here. How they provide the service. How long would it take to travel from there to Gusthaven via airship? Depends where Gusthaven is. That's the problem, is the yeah. Sky Cities move. Um, Gusthaven, it would be closer to... It'd be closer to Gold Throne than here, because it would have left from here. So it's, it'd be quite far. Hmm. You'd be maybe like a month or like a couple of weeks. So it's teleportation or nothing. Or find a find a source here in Voxar to bring yeah. both Sentry and Core back. Well, we should go back to. We the should camp. go back to Stenhill. I'll take your friends. You need rest as well. You all need time to process this. Death is. Death is not just for the person who has died, but also for those who remain behind. You They're not be dead. dead. She just smiles. There's always a hope. And she, she, she's strong. She'll pick up Quill's body. I can take it. No. I think I'd, I'd like to insist that I take it. Okay. If you insist, then she's like, if that's what you wish. At least let me carry something. I'll give her some of these other stuff. Yeah, she'll take the up. bag and the shield. I just want to let you know that I'll be here to guide you. No matter where you need me, I will stay by you. Don't worry about paying me for anything, okay? You guys... Are you sure you want to join this band? We're, we're dropping like flies over here. I'm, I'm happy to assist you in any way that I can. You guys have a lot, of, a lot to deal with, and I want to make sure that you get everything done you need to get done. Your friends are clearly very important to you. It would be a shame if I were to leave now and let you struggle alone. It's not right. So as long as you're here, I'm here with you. Thank you, Rabbit. That means a lot. And I think uh, Bertie, he took a liking to you as well. Took a liking to him. He's a good, good friend. Okay. And you can keep that circlet that I saw. Maybe she's already wearing it. <laughs> <laughs> it's very fetching. <laughs> so, you begin your travel back to Sten Hill. It is a day's travel away. So, where's my dice? Oh no. Well, Storm yes. time. I need to check for storms, and then I also need to check for encounters. You right, Tom? Yeah. Yeah, I'm just listening. It's great. Just listening. <laughs> is it like the VIP experience? It's a little bit, yeah. Should we pay Front for a seat? seat. <laughs> it's incredible. <laughs> if you want to sit on the table with us, that's a new... Yeah, maybe if I don't donation. take a character in time. It's highest crazy. donator. Right here. <laughs> <laughs> sit right here. <laughs> just sat here. <laughs> <laughs> like a child. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> the storms seem to be coming in the evening. So you make the best use of the day that you can, gaining as much ground, traveling as much as your legs will allow. You stop only for a brief meal of whatever you can quickly gather, what rations you have on you. As you are sitting down for a meal, can everyone make perception checks, please? Uh, cool. Hey man, I can't stop the random encounters because somebody died. 22. 22. Oh. 17. 13? 17. 17. My voice is just going. Seven. <laughs> just 14. Just slowly going 14. again. It came back for a little bit. Ayla and Lucius, you guys are the first to spot them as you're eating. Damn. You see two shapes emerging from the kind of forested wetlands of Mirskir. Um, the, the path that you're on is kind of like an, uh, a road that's nestled in a valley trying to protect it from the elements and from the, the magical storms that ravage the area. Um, and up on the sides of the hills, all the trees have kind of grown into kind of hug as close to the hills as they can to protect their branches. You hear like the snapping of branches and you see a scaled hand grip the branch. As a long lizard-like snout emerges, a ring of bones connected by vines draped like a crown around this elderly, weathered-looking lizard man. A staff kind of plants in the ground. <sighs> as this lizard man dressed in hides and bones emerges. Behind him, 
there appears to be another of their species. Uh, this lizard person you think might be female. It's kind of hard to tell. Um, she wears hide armor and a huge uh, axe made from uh, splintered, almost like giant scales. Uh, black dragon scales, you think, adorn the blade handle. As she begins making her way down, kind of scouring around. As she spots you, she kind of puts a hand on the other lizard man's Asaf Bara Nas Manaro Vaskar and begins just traveling down. I'll alert Do I... the rest of the group to it. Yeah. 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 Do you understand them. what they're saying, Draconic? Yes, you do. Um, you mean you didn't hear the perception. Okay. So um, you see them kind of warily casting their eye as they begin heading along the road, coming back the way that you've come from. Us. It looks like their journey has taken them past, but you can see the woman has got the axe in her hand and she's glaring at all of you suspiciously. Um, as they draw closer, the elderly lizard man... <sighs> Excuse me. I would ask fellow travelers a question. Fear not me or my grand daughter. I mean, like looks. I, I, I could just say in draconic, like, is it easier if we speak like this? eyes you and you see the woman's eyes it's kind of it's hard to tell the genders but you can vaguely see the differences and you're kind of assuming uh she looks over and she kind of hisses like this one speaks our tongue grand grandfather ah very clever i see but no it is good for me to practice the common tongue to learn your words. Is the road safe? Many nights, uh, spirits from the underworld patrol this road. They've been dealt with. Ah, good, good. And then he just seems to nod, come. And then they begin traveling on their way. Safe travels. I said splash, no. <laughs> <laughs> Turns around. And to you as well, safe travels. If you would take the advice of an old lizard, stay clear of the witch moor. The Witch of Blackfire is not to be trusted. Noted. Did you guys enjoy your Skyrim random encounter? Yes. Because <laughs> I did. <laughs> I like it. Uh, I like yeah, and literally, like, like, unless you guys are going to engage with him, him and his, his granddaughter just seem to... Unless off. they get too close. No, no, they, they seem to be as wary of you as you are of them. That's, that's fine with me. But yeah, it just carries on. A lot of people in the chat were saying like, and Tom, do you want to introduce your character? And I was yeah. just like, oh shit, where is it now? <laughs> no, I'm not going to do that to poor Tom. <laughs> Unless Tom made a lizard man character in like three minutes. Or a yeah. lizard lady. Or a lizard lady, yeah, mm. could be. Um, if you want to be a lizard man though, Tom, let me know. Right great. now? <laughs> you have to talk like that though. They oh, yeah. by they the know. way, Sensitive. can I come with you? <laughs> and out comes Pretty much nailed. Lizard. Nailed, na nailed it. <laughs> um, by the way, are you eating that? Yeah. <laughs> Fuck, no, he's, that's exactly what they would have asked. Fuck, they're gone now. He absolutely would have asked that. They eat people. Uh, oh, no. He's gone now. He's not a person, he's a bird. Even, Even better. better. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but no, they leave. That would have been interesting. Um, yeah, and do you guys continue? Uh, as you are about to camp, the storms hit. Uh, so my question is, what preparations do you make to prepare for is the storms? Is there any, Light what's around cry. us? You are in, in like low valleys, you've kind of got this road, um, the river is some distance away, but if it, you know, it could spill over so you don't want to get too close to 
that. Uh, there are these kind of very narrow hills with these trees that kind of cling to the sides. You can make a nature check if you want to try and find something like a cave or yeah, something or like, like that. Yeah, or like big rocks so that we can... Yeah, yeah nature check. Oh, natural. I think <laughs> really? a bit too, yeah. bit too caught up. I think Araya would make a nature check as sure. well. She's from this area. Yes, yeah, so you have advantage because this is your favourite terrain as well. Cool. Oh no, your favourite terrain is coast, so you don't have advantage. Sorry, that's okay. my fault. Well, I got 21 on my first one. Oh, well, that's <laughs> good. Easy. Um, so yeah, I think, Araya, you managed to find like a pretty safe looking space. Uh, it's, it's not a cave, but it's like an indentation in the hills okay. with like a bit of an overhang. And if you manage to crowd everybody in there, yeah. you'll be safer than yeah. you would be elsewhere. Anything else from anyone else? I will, Scaldi will attempt to do some stuff as well. She'll make a survival check. Uh, for 21. So Scaldi begins erecting. Um, you can see that she's kind of carried with her like a, an extendable lightning rod. She makes her way out up onto the top of the hills and begins planting it in the ground. Can we not stick that in Quill? <laughs> you want to? No. Are you no. looking for like fried chicken here? No, I'm just like Dr. Frankenstein. Rise, Don't my you... monster, rise! I mean, if Nova Sorry. wants to try and create some undead monstrosities, I'm all for it. Go Not on. right now. Okay. Maybe later. Maybe later. Maybe. later. Maybe. later. If you can't get, if you can't bring him back from the dead normally, yeah. that's what animate dead's for. Pretty much, yeah. Uh, right, Frank and Quill. I'm Frank gonna Quill. make sure that Quill is like towards the back of the yeah. of the okay. indentation, I guess. Nova. Make sure that he's anything you want to do. You've got him like nicely tucked up in a blanket and a little pillow. Give up your bed roll. Yeah. Oh, look at that. I was joking. No, she would. Yeah. Lie down. Cry. Okay, cool. Try not to cry. Cry anyway. Cry, yeah. Cry, cry a lot. lot. Lucius? The little dent that Araya went into. Yeah. Is that full up now? I mean, you you can all kind of sit in there. It will give you some protection. Uh, Lucius will try really hard to look at nature, which is really difficult. Okay. And see how Look nature has nature. grown to react to the storms. Okay. Is there anything that's like... Yeah. Sure. Make a nature check. Like the trees clinging onto the hill. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you've, you've witnessed a lot of this stuff traveling. 19 plus 4. Uh, yeah. No, zero. 19. So basically, it seems to be that life clings to the base of like the hills where the leeway side, so the side that the wind can't get to, um, it clings to that. A lot of it buries itself into the ground to protect itself from lightning and wind and rain as well. You've seen quite a few of the plants actually kind of suck down into the ground when they sense a storm coming and then they emerge when there isn't one. Uh, a lot of the creatures that you've seen, like the clacks, have armored shells and they have like grips to grip onto the ground for strong winds. That's how everything's kind of evolved around here. Can I light a fire? Is that, I mean, yeah, yeah. You don't need to roll or anything okay. for a lighting a fire. You can easily light a fire. You're a ranger, you know what you're doing. Nice. Is, does Lucius want to do anything with that information, or is he just like, now I know? Noted. Noted. Excellent. Okay. Could I just maybe, like, cry as a bonus action, but as an yeah. action, sure. could I uh, look at the storms and I guess see if I could track where they come from? Like, if their lightning comes from, I don't know. Like, You can try. Make a perception <laughs> check. Oh, yeah. Best, best sense. It's very hard, though. Uh, so I rolled a one, and Jesus. I have minus one perception. So How I have bad zero. are you guys rolling tonight? That's zero on perception. I think. I think it's probably crying, crying, is, crying from my eye and just it's yeah. looking up, and then it rains, and it's just more water in your <laughs> eye. It's just water everywhere. It's like the end of Blade Runner. I'm just, just mascara is just like. Now. I don't wear mascara. Tears in the rain. Tears in the rain. Yeah. No, I think that yeah, it's too. And also, you remember Quill saying that, or somebody saying that they're quite random. Yeah. The, the storms yeah, randomly spread out because um, they're magical. I imagine it was just maybe Nova's like self-preservation instinct was try and science stuff. Science try things. Try and think about stuff and not think about the thing there. Is there any like um, debris or any, like any like fallen trees or anything? You could cut up some trees if you want some to, tree branches. To try and cover the indentation the entrance. that we're in. Yeah, I'd say a you can try bit. and do that. Yeah, yeah. I'd say that that's what you spend your time doing. Um, so with all of these preparations, when the storm hits late at night, I mean, this is your first time really being outside in one of these storms. And they are furious. The wind howls and tears. The the branches that you've tried to create a barrier are just ripped out of the ground oh, and like pulled away. Um, oh well. 
the you hear the crash of thunder and the explosive sound as lightning hits Skaldi's rod up on the hills nearby. It almost sounds like war around you. Um, you desperately cling to each other, to the walls, to rocks, anything you can to stop yourself from being blown away. I need everybody to make a constitution saving throw. I'm not going to use that. Who you have advantage them? on these because of your preparations. Okay. I see you there. You said everybody. Not 20! Everybody who is alive. This has just been oh, ones and twenties. Yeah. There's been so many. It's so 23. Bad. 23. 15. 15 for Lucius. 22. 22 for Araya. 17. 17. Everybody weathers the storm pretty well. Um, despite the conditions, you with your preparations, you managed to weather through the night. You managed to get a little bit of sleep, enough for a long rest. Um, the storm does abate midway through the evening, um, but you are none of you become exhausted. You would have gained a level of exhaustion if you failed that saving throw. Whilst you take a long rest, it's time to reveal some magic items because Ooh, when, you spend, when you spend when you spend a long rest, you learn some stuff. Yeah. Lay them all out. A little hashtag chat with uh, Tian Gong about who that lady was. We will do that in a second. Let's do this first because this is exciting. Hashtag chat. Do you want to go through the normal treasure or just the magic items? Real talk. Yeah. Magic items first. Magic items first. So, your javelin yep. is a javelin of lightning. Yep. I do not believe that requires attunement. Right. What does that do? Uh, you can add it in D and D Beyond. Yeah. Okay. Um, Let's give Quill the <clears throat> put it on him. <laughs> Tribute. I've got stuff on me. The necklace of a crystal star that you gained from the altar. So it, it's a fine silver chain that ends in a very delicate looking crystal star, which faintly glows. Um, it is a stone of good luck, which I believe is plus one to all saving throws. A stone of good luck. Mm -hmm. It's called a stone of good luck. Is it, Mark? <laughs> <laughs> Is it? I can't help that. All right. You're plus one. Plus one. Too soon. I mean, <laughs> you, you had a minus you one a anyway. Minus one. Man. <laughs> Would not have helped you. Could have used that way long ago. <laughs> well, maybe you should have looted the altar oh. instead of trying to fight the big bat. The shield God. is a unique shield. Mm. It's a plus one shield and it's called Starlight's Bulwark. The shield, once you're attuned to it, will let you cast the Light Cantrip and the following spells once per day each. Guiding Bolt at first level and Sanctuary at first level. Oh my god. <gasps> oh boy! That would be a nice shot for <laughs> <laughs> You are kidding me. I'm not. You've already There's got also Bolt. that one bracer that sprays out lightning. And the other one it's is like it's, it's like, like oh, it's, don't need the other it's, one. It's like a little out. lightning grapple hook, actually. It's like a little lightning grappling hook, is yeah. it? Yeah. So those are called that's called a lightning cable launcher. Um, it is in D&D Beyond as well. I added it as a custom item. Uh, it allows you to shoot out a, like a little. It's like a lightning lure, but like built into technology. So it's like a 15 foot. It grabs on something and then you oh. can pull it to you. Or if you affix it to a, something that weighs more than you, you pull yourself towards That's it. Cool. That's cool. But it's only 15 feet, so it's not a huge Ooh. range. Ooh. Is there a magical item that grants flight? No. Because that will complete the set. But right? <laughs> if anybody wishes to spend time with the musical instrument that Quill had, yeah. you will learn that that is called a Foculan Bandor, uh, which is an instrument of the Bard. Um, oh, and it allows you to cast spells, including like what, fly. Like uh, why? Oh. <laughs> yep. Well. Oh my god, I would have been so powerful. <laughs> the, the, that's like you all the Quill's equipment. Yeah, you can't uh, I mean, I don't have the exact stats for the Foculine Bandor, but it does things like you can cast protection from energy, you can cast a bunch of other cool spells, fairy fire, entangle, loads of cool stuff. It's Once like per a each. dust loop, but different. It's a dust loop, but with different spells, basically. Yeah. Oh, that's sweet. Um, cool. um, I don't believe you guys picked up any other magic items. I think that was pretty much it. Also in um, Ayla's bag of the stuff that you took. Three boxes. Oh, the three boxes. Oh yeah. Forgot about those. Oh. In the three boxes, you crack them all open. Spiders. So, right, there's a bunch of normal treasure as well. So, <laughs> in, the, in the wooden chest with silver latches <laughs> is about 3,000 silver starfall coins. So these are old coins. Uh, from before the sundering, do you want to do the whole amount is worth about twelve hundred gold. Can I roll for spiders? Whoa! Sure. Uh, twelve hundred gold. Current gold, yeah. So it's three thousand coins that are worth about twelve hundred gold. I've got a lot of gold. No spiders. Cool. How did we drag that here? I'll take the gold. 
I mean, I'm assuming you're going to add this all to party oh, fund. Add in the gold. In the metal chest with bronze fastenings, there are a pair of ruby statues of the goddess of Elena, worth 150 gold each. <laughs> What's that face? Oh my god! So much money. It's a lot of money. Well, oh, I've not even got to the rest of it yet. Hang on. Like, you know, do. Keep on writing, Kim. I'm writing furiously. The final chest with a thin carved wooden box with a gold and silver etching in the shape of an hourglass contains a potion of longevity. <laughs> also, Ayla mean? picked up the following in the altar room. 10 pressed silver bars worth 100 gold each. Ten. And a oh, platinum yes. statue of Siaska worth oh. 1,000 gold. What? Jeffrey, <laughs> that's so much money! <laughs> Yeah, it was no, gold. The DM, the DM taketh away, the DM giveth back. <laughs> Worth it! Kidding. <laughs> Worth it. <laughs> Guys, okay. let's go to the Eroist equivalent of Las Vegas and just live it up! Yeah! yeah. Oh, that was Gold Throne, and you can't go back then. Yeah, we can. Yeah. <laughs> we we, we, really, like, we fucked yeah. that place up. <laughs> well, so it was it ten... literally was the Eroist equivalent of Las Vegas, though. So 10 Fuck. times 100 gold bars. So 10 pressed silver bars worth 100 gold each. Okay. And a, a platinum statue of Siaska worth 1,000 gold. Sweet mama. How much is that in total? So I think that that should be 1,000, 1,000, 3,200, 3,500. If you sell all the statues and stuff, not including the jewelry you found. We can fix like 10 broken legs. Um, plus all the magic <laughs> items. Shall I just put it in as can gold or shall I put it in individually? Probably. Like, Probably. Thing. You should put it in as individual things. Yeah. Because you can't just yeah. be like, so, yeah. hello, Mr. Merchant, would you accept two ruby statues? You know, there's yeah. the gold you, bar. But you also means that you yeah. might be able to get more money. Like, if you yeah. sell the ruby statues of Elena to a temple of Elena, they might be like, oh, fuck, yeah, we want these. We'll pay a bit more for them. Yeah. Top tips. Top I'll, tips I'll from DM. All the God. All in thunder. <laughs> I've literally killed Rihanna with how much money there is. The high rollers are high rollers. No, they're not. They fucking suck at rolling. <laughs> no, no, it's true. You're I mean, rolling, rolling high stop in Stop rolling coin. the dice. Roll you were again. Yeah, but the dice. I don't like there the are dice consequences. Anymore. The Reynard Golden Snitch dice has failed. Hashtag consequences. I've been this microwave for so long. Why is it not? <laughs> that magnet but, is just no, not 20. working. No, but Ooh. finally. Uh, I also need to go through and work out all your experience, but this I won't do that now because I need to um, work it out. What, what items does everyone want out of the magic -y ones? What makes it's sense? The best bit. What makes sense? Divvying it up. So we've got a lightning, a javelin of lightning. That's what's you. Bracer that's thing. You. Well, can do so the other thing I will recommend, I will say now, is you if you don't want the specific items, you can take them to exceptional artisans and they can reforge them into mm -hmm. things that you might want. Very important I'm, for you and Howard. I, I want to. Which do you think the javelin would be the most relevant for that? It certainly seems to be the most connected. In terms of magic, um, you, I mean, you can do it with anything, right? You could take yeah, this, the crystal like the, star. From, from what I've read of, on this, it seems like this would be a really relevant thing for anyone. Yeah, I mean, if you, if again, it would, the artisan will give you the details, but they can reforge things or they can add properties from one thing to another thing. It's harder to do with certain items. Certain items are very unique. Um, things like the the crystal star could be quite tricky to add to something else, but it could be done. Um, the lightning yeah, cable launches, that looks more like technology, probably can't be added to something else. Yeah. So. What? I was just telling them to stick the javelin into me and just shock me back to life. We've discussed how We've this, discussed this. Kebab. 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 Who says kebab? This kebab. Kebab. Ke kebab. <laughs> what a conversation. <laughs> Welcome to High Rollers. Cool. So we got the shield, the braces, and the necklace. Shield would make sense for. And the javelin. Yeah. Javelin. Uh, I'm happy with javelin. I can uh, carry shields, but I'm not proficient. Proficient. Same with Lucius, yeah. I believe. Well, no, I'm I'm proficient, but I can't carry can I it at the moment because it interferes with my spell casting. Yes. Um, well, because you I don't have two hands yet. Yeah, <coughs> well, I can take Could it. it not depends not. if we level up or not. We'll find out. I don't think you'll get a feat no. no matter what. Okay. You level eight for a feat, baby. Uh. Mm. Um, would it make... take it? Well, can fair. you can not, can a non-spell caster? You, oh, you you have spells, don't you? Do you? Yeah, yeah ranges are spells, different. Yeah. Okay. Range spells different. Could she could she use the spells from the shield? 
Oh yeah, anybody can use the spells. Oh, okay. you, anybody, it's, it's like the dust you, loot. It's like the, yeah, it's you attune to the shield and then once per day you can cast each spell. And it regains those spells at dawn. And it appears to be, it was once the shield of a warrior of Siaska during the war. That's cool. Are there takers? Uh, it's far too ghastly. Too ghastly? Doesn't suit me. I can't spell cast if I carry it. I need both hands. I mean, again, you can carry it for now, and yeah. then I'll if somebody it, else's yeah. well, arises. There was that luck thing. Stone there. of good luck. Well, the, good luck well the, 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 the pendant of uh, Siaska, but it's for D&D Beyond purposes, it's called Stone of Good Luck. I'd have to try it on first. I don't know if it would work. <laughs> it will make you better, though. I'll try it on. Remember when you tried to hit that altar and you just... It's not focus on the... Might, might very, prove very things. current events. I mean, I didn't. I just chipped a bit off like gravel, so... Yeah. I'll try it on. If you wouldn't mind. Sure. It feels... Outdated. I think it looks fine with your outfit. It's yep. very pretty. It's very it's it's a beautiful jewel. It is quite quite sparkly. Is that it matches all the you? other jewels in your coat. Well, some of them is. Um, okay, I'll keep it for now. And uh, okay. if I'm caught in Gust Haven with it though, I will be outed for fashion reasons. Lucius, I don't know. your outfit is quite worn at this point. We've been through a lot. I don't think that the 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 necklace is going to be the focus. I think it's in good condition. It was recently, actually, no, no, it has been butchered. Mm. Let's True. just focus on staying alive, and that necklace might help us a little bit to stay alive. What does it do? I have... I, did, I don't. If you are wearing it and you wish to, I don't know if it needs to be attuned. I'm just checking that. Mm. It requires attunement, so you would need to spend an hour with it, which you can do as part of a long rest. Um, and if you wish to wear it, it gives you a plus one bonus to ability checks and saving throws. So ability checks being things oh. like skill checks or, oh, I'll make a charisma check to do this or blah, blah, blah. And okay. all saving throws. And it should apply the bonus automatically once you equip it and attune it on D&D oh, Beyond. Stone of good luck. Luck stone. Is this healed just... Is uh, it should be under there as the Starlight's Bulwark. Do you want the bracers? So if you manage to uh, you can. That would be nice. Search. Uh, otherwise, I'll yeah. just Starlight. stand here. Nice. <laughs> I mean, the, the braces are like technology. They're not magic. It appears to be like Starbane era technology. Like you can see that these vials channel some sort of magical energy, but a lot of it's also pistons and you know, like cables and stuff you like use that. Use it to cool. grapple people. Could I engineer them to do other stuff? Sure. If you want to take it and start playing with it, there's one broken one and one working. Yes. Sure. I'll, I guess I'll equip the Two one of them, that's... your Spider-Man. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. <laughs> Lightning Spider-Man. So does that do damage to the person when you uh, it? will, if you, hit a, if you hit a creature, so I can explain to you what they do specifically. I could levitate. Um, <laughs> yeah, can I like experiment on them and... I yeah, sure. Join, yeah. Join that's me. something you can do during your downtime. <laughs> like next time you have some like time in the town or something like that. Uh, I'll need to find out where my stats for them are. But if you search for lightning cable launcher, they should be on there. That's cool. Have you got it, Re? Yeah, I got you it. Got it? Uh, if you want to equip it, you'll need to unequip your short sword. Nice. I think. And then you can have the shield. So you can have your rapier yeah, and then shield. Yeah. Nice. Nice. And you'll need to attune One to broken. it as well. Cool beans. Uh, two. Did you add the javelin of lightning yeah, I for Ada? I don't believe that requires attunement. That's awesome. Cool. Oh, poor Tommy. Loot being distributed and he's just sat there. Yeah. It's like when... Uh, when I was playing Reynard in, in Lightfall, and everyone got a load of magic loot, and they were like, yeah, but we're the main characters, so we'll take them. Should I take that shield ring off yeah. your hands? Now that we've looted the dungeon, let's well, there's also the, the, the there's also the musical instrument. There is the musical instrument too. I could tell you, yeah, I could tell you like all the stuff I've got. I wouldn't do that. <laughs> But you want to. Chris Trot really I'm wants to. Lucius right now. Like Lucius is like, plus two AC, could, well, could be handy. But you might need to fight. Birdie's not going to make much use of it. Too soon. It's too soon. You need to fight for him, though. Too soon. Okay. You're not going to be much use I mean, You're dead. You guys take a long rest, and you can reach Sten Hill, and easily enough. There's not going to be an encounter. You have you, the time. Any, any no? visions? Oh, yes. You want to do that. So... 
You focus during the evening. As the storm's raging, crashes of thunder echoing around you. You turn your attention inward, trying to focus on this pulsating energy within that you know is Tiangong's energy source. It's bound to you. The two of you are connected now. You feel the form of the weapon changing in your mind. From the long sword that you first found to this new bladed dagger, this tri-dagger. As it does, there are glimpses of memories, faint, like a faded picture. You see the woman, the darkness spreading throughout the room. Darkness and a hunger, a tiny point of red light amidst an ocean of stars. Hadar. Hungers. And in Tiangong, this eternal being, there is fear. Oh. <sighs> okay. <laughs> and that's yeah, and that's what you get from Tiango. Unfortunately, they are not able to communicate much more. I imagine, given that it, the connection at the moment works on emotion and, and vision, is I would probably just wake up screaming. Like, if that's what Tiangong is feeling, is fear. And a deep fear. Like, yeah. you've sensed Tiangong's fear and hesitation before when it comes to Starbane. Mm. This is strong. This is a deep fear. Yeah, I'm probably going to wake up screaming. Like a real primal. Like, <laughs> just, yeah. I'm not going to do it. No, I know. <laughs> just imagine, just a real. Just everyone else can imagine. Like, yeah. Yeah, it wakes, it wakes you up. Terrifying. It wakes everyone up. Like, yeah. It was just instinctively. Scaldi's like, hammer. yeah, like yeah. reaching for weapons. Hmm. What is it? Did you see something? I'm just shaking and I'm just, I'm screaming. No, but is there something my there? My eyes are white. Like, they've almost rolled back in my head. Just, Nova, just a... Nova, like Scaldi comes up and is shaking you. I'm gonna look around, like where we are. Perception check. Okay. Click try and like hold her, like twenty. Hold Nova. Twenty. Shapes? No, just just shadows, shadows of in the lightning. Nothing. No living creatures nearby. Scaldi, like Araya, kind of wraps her arms around you. Scaldi, kind of like shakes you a little bit. She seems to cast some sort of spell. There's nothing position and like eventually your eyes kind of come back and the vision fades. I'm just um, sobbing like into a riot, just heaving sobs into you. Like, just, like holding it like, it's okay, it's okay. That woman, that woman, Hadar, she, the Tiangong, she had the power of Hadar. Tiangong's afraid. I can make a check and see if yeah, I know sure, what yeah, that yeah, is. Yeah, you can make a check, yeah. What is that? Natural 20, ha <laughs> ha! Now that we get the natural 20s. <laughs> so. This is an old, old memory of Ayla. Perhaps one that you even consciously weren't aware of until that name was spoken. Flashes, you could have, you were a child, barely a toddler at this point. You see the, the tartan of the clan, the red tartan, vividly in your mind as warriors prepare for battle. But you're not on Erois. You're somewhere else. <laughs> you're on a world with a different sky with three moons in the sky. And you see Starbane ships. And your warriors are being led onto them. You with them. And you hear this voice, a deep resonating masculine voice. You don't make out the rest of it. To defeat Hadar. 
and then just, just people, noise, and then blackness. <laughs> I love it. All that for a natural 20. You're a space elf, Harry! <laughs> a spelf. It, it, it's fuzzy. It's a fuzzy memory. Holy <laughs> shit. What is happening? <laughs> so yeah, well, probably while you're having your vision, like, it's like no this vision is babbling, like, it's bad. It's, it's worse than Starbane. Worse you, than Starbane. Do you even know no, her? I've never heard of this thing before. You're talking crazy. I, That's what she was. You saw when she took her mask off. That pinpoint of red and darkness. But she was clearly some sort of servant of Star... Or some, some ne necromancer. Wizardry. That's all it was. No, you're wrong. This is worse. This is worse than anything. Tiangong, I never even got this feeling from Tiangong about Starbane, and Starbane enslaved Tiangong. This is bad. If, if she's here and using Hadar's power, this is bad. Well, whatever this Hadar is, she's gone. Okay, she's gone. Calm down. We, we defeated her. But we you stopped heard her. what she said. But whatever she, she was trying to Hadar. do, we've stopped. We've stopped. Whoever this Hadar is, they're not here now. They're, they're gone. Like, we stopped them. But if that was her, then who's not... Say there's not more. Well, maybe there are, but they're not here. And the cradle's there. Nothing... Like, it can't... If it's, if it's not Starbane, it, if it's not here on Erois, it can't get us. But what if Starbane is trying to get rid of the cradle? Well, then, he's tried that for 500 years, Nova. We've all heard the stories. The gods stopped it. The gods would have told us about it if there was something worse out there. This is wrong. This is wrong. This is worse than Starbane. You've, you've just lost a friend. Your, whatever this weapon is that you have, it's shown you something scary. We understand. It saw horrors in there. Whatever that woman was doing, it, it was terrifying. We know that. We, all, we were all there. It was scary. It's okay. But it's gone. We stopped her. You're just upset. I was just gonna keep crying and just like got nothing. Yeah, just... nothing left to say. Yeah, mm. I mean, Scald is, is kindness, but it's... yeah, it calms. It to calms. her, she doesn't. She's yeah, yeah. It calms Nova, but Nova knows that like it's something deep in yeah, the chest that it's real. What she felt. Yeah, Ayla's just disconnected herself from the group and is just sitting, just staring at, out at the storm. She's not talking to any of them. Nice. Okay. So in the morning, I guess you guys pack up in quiet silence, morose. You make your way back to Stenhill. Nothing has changed. The stone village is still up on its stilts. The water level has dropped a little, perhaps. People go about their business. You return to the temple of Kilara. Sentry's body is still upon the altar. Humble reminder of what you came here for to do. And Ayla places Quill next to her. We see the two of them lying side by side on the altar. Oh, and that's where hurts. we're going to end this week's episode. Oh, that really stings. That hurts. Yeah, that's a stinger. That's, that's the stinger that's a right there. Visual stinger right there. Yeah. Hey guys, thanks for playing this cool game with me. I hope you have fun. Do you guys have fun? <laughs> You know, when when you were oh. talking like in the fight about <clears throat> the powers that she had, I was I was suspicious it was Hadar. Like I was like, but obviously I didn't know if he'd reflavored like some of the spells and stuff like that. Just there was something about the hunger that made me think of Hadar. Can you have a nightmare next sleep where it's like I'm tapping you on the shoulder, Lucius tapping you on the shoulder, and then you turn around and then I go. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> well, no, I think I think that like yeah, like a nightmare yeah. where like you you go to turn and your friends' faces yeah. have the same oh, gaping avoided. hole. Because I was the nearest oh, to her as well when she yeah. removed her mask. So it would probably I be saw... Quill's oh, right shit. because yeah. Quill obviously she yeah. killed him. Like I saw you right see the, into that the, the eye patch falls off, and instead oh. of like the injury, it's just the gaping oh. hole oh. with the single point of red oh, light. That's awesome. That's, that's hey. how I want to come back. Jolty on Fire donated. Happy Easter, High Rollers. <laughs> yeah. And everyone happy, watching, happy, happy Easter. Easter! This is our special Easter episode. <laughs> Enjoy the eggs. We technically should have had a resurrection Aracopra today. Eggs. <laughs> should have done. Oh, that would be good. Had the we opposite. Breaking eggs. Breaking eggs. Breaking eggs. Sure. Uh, I mean, I, I wanted to <laughs> sure. call it Whispers of the Void, but I feel like... 
That's a good one. And we're no, that's a good uh, one. Ola Renve, thank you very much for the donation. And 149, thank you very much. Hi guys, last ep you guys did was my first one. I was able to watch live because I had a four hour wisdom oh tooth oh. extraction. And you guys kept my hopes high, TY. P.S. Rhiannon, you are my fave and gorgeous. Gouges. 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 My fave and gouges. Cersei Cariolet donated. I love the show so much. I'm so sad I couldn't make it to the live show, but it was still great and I will definitely catch you next time you're here in the US. That's, wow, the, soon, that's yeah. the thing. Soon. We're not in the US yet. That you know, was in TwitchCon in the EU. Yeah. We're going to LA May 16th. 16th. So come see us there. Get a ticket. Frank the NPC donated episode prediction. Yep. Finally, our mighty iron sloths have arrived at the dungeon master, mighty necromancer. The sloths are victorious <laughs> in battle, but not without cost as Quill loses his another limb, his left leg. <laughs> I mean, you were closer, Frank. Yeah, it's closest so far, I think. Nightjar, yeah. oh, thank sloths. you very much. Thank you, Nightjar. Uh, Skeleki donated. First time viewing live and just want to say thanks for this amazing show, which always brightens my Thursdays. Keep on being awesome, guys. Thank you very much. Do you want me to just keep reading them or do you want to yeah. read them? Metamanu donated. Woo! Tian Gong 2! Woo! 25 Woo! buckaroos, thank That's you very much. Thank you. Happy times. We all burned together, donated. Finally able to catch this live. Yay! Mark, you should be incredibly proud of yourself for this campaign if you aren't already. Your stories and world building are always perfect. I know DM doubt TM can be strong sometimes, but you're doing great. It's just Thanks, Mark who doubt TM. It's just Mark who doubt. Uh, Frank the NPC donated again. Gonna have to miss the end of the episode today, which sucks. Hope Cole only loses a leg and doesn't oh! die. Oh! Oh, Frank. Oh, Frank the NPC donated. Well, I'm still here and he's dead. So that was fun. <laughs> oh my God. Frank, you killed What was the time difference it? between wow. that? Three minutes. Three minutes. Wow. wow. That's Feel funny. Bad, yeah, three minutes. Azul Aura donated. Hugs Tom. Aww. Definitely hugs for Tom. Mm. Justice for Tom. Jolty on fire donated. No, not the bird man. No, Rose Meadows is going to be so sad oh. that they cute little bird man's gone. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I think oh, Rose Meadows has got bigger problems than yeah. a dead bird man. She Darth is. Dave 41, never mind an animated series, get a Kickstarter going for some new dice. Our lovely <laughs> bird boy yeah, has lost true. the final limb, life itself. Oh, my heart with my final limb. <laughs> Wolfie Kid of Doom donated. So, I had to go hug my chickens in the break, then get me some ice cream to ugly cry into. Quill's my favorite character, is my favorite character. Is. All the love to Tom and his great characters embracing for next week. Wolfie Kid, well, we're not sorry. here next week. We are not here next not week. Not next week, but There's the week a break after, next I feel like week. We probably should have mentioned that. Oh, earlier. probably should have yeah. done, shouldn't we? Yeah, no, me and Shrot are laughing uh, next week. Sorry. Ooh. Uh, but Phoenix Willow did donate a ha ha half hundo. Wow. wow. Oh, you. Quill, you gentle soul. Kudos to Tom and Mark for how you handle the whole sequence. I wholeheartedly appreciate it and love all the more for it. Now I just need to get through this too. I'm not crying, you're crying. Aww. Everyone's crying, it's yeah. not good. Woody, but excited, Exc donated. <laughs> excited. Sorry I couldn't be there to watch live, but I hope Ooh. it went well. Have a happy Easter. Oh, Woody. Yikes. Oh boy. Not a lick donated. Oh no, Tom, not even the bestest boy is safe. I just unlocked Ayla on Idle Champions as Quill died, almost to the second. <laughs> I'll continue to level her up, see if she acquires the cart, which legend tells us she uses to carry around the bodies of her allies. I'm gonna need a cart at this yep. point. Yeah, we should swap you, know, you definitely are. Tennessee donated a quarter hundo. RIP Birdie. Mark, I want off this emotional roller coaster. <laughs> awesome boss fight though. Keep it up, high rollers. Thank you very much. Ace of Thorns donated. Birdie! Give us your best birdie, Trot. Oh, okay. Uh, Azul, <laughs> Azul Aura donated. Mark, Mark, please. This is too much lore and emotion. My poor brain can't handle it. Quill, Ayla, Tiangong, Nova, Starbane, Hadar. This is too much! Yeah, it's a lot. Nightjar donated. Much sad, such loot, biggest of bads. Space Elf lore! That last visual. What an episode. I mean, bloody hell. I love D&D and you guys so very much. Thank you, Nightjar. <laughs> the Game Guy donated. Holy shit! Birdie bites the dust, and then we get the revelation about Hadar. I'm noticing a pattern when we lose a PC right before learning about world shaking apocalypse scenarios. Also, Ayla is a space elf? What the fuck? See you Sunday, Good I guess. Good question. What the fuck? Random donated a thousand Twitch bits. Cheer a thousand. Uh, Lightning Wing Dragon uh, donated a voice whispers to you from beyond. Beyond the sky, even beyond the stars, beyond even darkness itself. Hadar. Also, not to meta game, but could Quill discover the location of the city glass whilst he is dead? The goddess did say, ask questions. Maybe. Ooh. Probably, not. Tasty. Probably not, though. It's pretty meta gamey. Um, well, we'll I mean, see. Would I, would I have knowledge when I come back? Maybe. Extra knowledge of like just time I spent with uh, the dead? Have any of you come back from the dead before? No. I did. So, no. not now, you <laughs> know. Not, no. Oh, no. I'm just in the void. Well, good point. Peace out. Pretty much. Sad, isn't it? Yeah. Hey. 
Thank you so much for watching, everybody. Like I said, mm. there is no High Rollers next week. We're going to take a week off because Trot and I are away. Yes. Um, and we've been doing a lot lately, so we're going to take next week off. Um, but we'll be back after that to continue this very epic story. I hope you enjoyed the episode. Woo! Hope you're not too mad at me. And we'll Don't see you next mad. time. Don't be mad I mean, at Mark. Don't be mad at Mark. No, we, we all agreed on it. We all agreed on yeah. the scenario. It was more of a pithy throwaway line, but it's fine. See you, see you next see time. See you in two weeks. Bye. Bye.